Hey, what's good, what's good, what's good? Welcome to Reflections of a DJ, the Roll Podcast, presented by DJ City. Big shout out to DJ City. I'm one of your hosts, DJ Crooked. We got DJ Never. Yo, yo, what up? We got DJ D Miles. What's good, what's good? We got DJ Jamie the Great. Yeah. Okay. I gave you a DJ <laughs> Yeah, <Monica> finally. <laughs> Two years and a half, and we're here. That was pre- premature. I don't know if you earned wow. it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, got a, we, got a special, uh, we got a special guest host with us. Our homie DJ Ed McDonald over here in the building. Yo, yo. Hey, hey, shout yeah. shout to Mac Agency. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And we got our man straight from Brooklyn, New York, straight yo. from the Bronx and Harlem. It's everything everywhere. A- AKA no headphones in Harlem. We what? got Mr. Mel Star in the building. What up, though? What's good, man? What up, man? What's good? What's, what, what is the no headphones in Harlem? Because I see you spending at, um, you've been coming out to Vegas. I do. Every uh, every once in a while. You was homies with Love Bug Starsky, yes? Absolutely. Right, very good. Rest, in peace. Rest, rest in, in peace. Rest in peace. Love Bug. And then uh, he was coming out. He actually moved here to Vegas. Yes, he did. You know, yes, fucking fucking pioneer DJ. Yeah. A New York pioneer yeah. DJ. And, uh, and, uh, and definitely a major staple in hip hop. Mm-hmm. That voice. Yeah. Amazing yeah. voice, and he was out here, and you and Eddie, you were working with him, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were, you were managing him out here, kind not of? quite managing. Uh, the guy that introduced us, well, well, Shecky, Shecky Shea. Green, ah, okay. came Shea. to me. He's like, I, I went downtown to go meet up with a friend of mine who's managing a restaurant called Turmeric down on uh, Fremont and Seventh or something like that. He's like, Love Bug Stores, he's DJing. He's like, you have to come. You have to come. It's amazing. So yeah. came. Jeremy uh, is, was kind of handling a lot of his business affairs. Mm-hmm. And we were we were planning on working with him. I had a lot of proposals in the, in the, in the, in the works uh, yeah. that unfortunately didn't, didn't yeah. never get, get a chance. Shecky's always like the ambassador of hip-hop. Yeah, and middle man. Yeah. 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 He's a gatekeeper. He's tied to everything. <laughs> the, yeah. gold, the golden era. Yeah. yeah. Middle man. Yeah. So oh, that, yeah, that's my boy. Like, casually just yeah. jumping. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know him. Yeah. Yeah. Lo- yeah. Love Bug is the reason why I linked with Mel, though. That, yeah. that was, he was Love the... Mel. He was the introduction. That was yeah. dope. Yeah. And now yeah. you've been coming out here for a while. Yeah. And I've yeah. been seeing you spinning it like on the record. No doubt. And uh, are you killing it? That's over how there? we clicked yeah. up. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw yeah. you over like there. That. And you stand on the side. It was like, oh, the fuck. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, Cookie's the weird one that just says <laughs> He's in the dark just he planning. Doesn't, he doesn't say nothing. Nah, he just sits nah, there. He goes, yo, what's up, yo? Nah, what's up, yo? It was good. And then he'll just be like, yeah. I just stand. Yo, he's on point with you. It's crazy. <laughs> I stand on the side. I just, uh, I, I observe everything and I hate on everybody. That's what it is. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? No. No. He's like, ah, I don't know. Yo, I was, he should oh, wear shit. some headphones, maybe. In my mind, I'm like, oh, shit, that's crooked. Oh, shit. Yo, yo, what's up, man? <laughs> so smooth. <laughs> and then he was like, "Now, see, for like, for when I first floated away, <laughs> when, like, when I first met Mel Star, he he does that super humble New York shit because in New York, you can't really be like feeling yourself too much. You yeah. can't be too comfortable. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you know, so he gives the real." Humble handshake, so he'll yeah. give me the double handshake. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and that's what he did to me and best friend when I met him. He gave me the double joint. Pause. I don't, I don't know if it's because I'm Asian too. He did oh, like, like, it was like, like he's, he's bow. my brother. Bow. My bow. Yeah. Wait, did he, he bow too? Did yeah. you bow? Yeah. bow? I didn't bow. I didn't bow. I didn't. He did a little bow, you know. He's like, my brother crooked. <laughs> You know, what I'm you, my brother. It's like I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta relate to this dude for. Him. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let him numb down. You gotta let him numb down. But that's that's some New York shit, right? Just to I, let motherfuckers know, like, you know, yo, I, I, and you are a, a big dude. Pause. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? I ain't wanna you yo. know, impose the. Yeah, yo, what the fuck? But you also don't want to give like the weak handshake. Yeah, I hate like those motherfuckers. Like, 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 like blow you off yeah, type of motherfucking yeah, yeah, shit yeah. with the little half. Because he definitely was kind of like I, I was. The, yeah, it was like, yo, what's I, good? I'm it's here. Good. I see you. Right there. You're in my presence. I'm acknowledging that we did that. Me. Yes. And but then he was like, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Just, <laughs> he fled away like Prince. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> nah, nah. But I did notice when you when, you're, when you were DJing and stuff, you didn't have headphones. Yeah, man, I'm fucking deaf. Really? God damn it, I'm deaf. Like yeah. fresh or deaf? Or like real deaf. Oh, like, real like, deaf. In both so, ears? Nah, just the left ear. So 9-11. I was in 9-11 when all that shit happened yeah. and uh-huh. shit crashed down and real short story. And um, the 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 jet, the fighter jets, when them shits came across, you know like how we, you know, when we go to parties and the shit is so loud, we like, nah, we could take it, we can go home, yeah. the shit will level out. And um, yo, that shit came down. It was, and that shit was just rattling so hard and um was you in the building or was you- i was getting the fuck out of the building yes i was running wow because the first the first explosion went down mm-hmm. 
And I was like, how close? How close? I was, was in the building. Was in the building. Was in, the I was in the building. In the building. I came out the building. Holy I looked shit. up. I seen the first one go, and I did this. To, did you go to straight sh- to the train station? Because one of my homeboys, I, got, I went to the car. One of my boys is like in the building when the first plane hit, when the um, top when the yeah. plane hit the first tower. Right, he was in the building. And he just like ran out. Yeah, and he went straight to so the what train were you station. Doing he didn't in the look building? back. Yo, I at the time I was working in corporate. Okay, cool. and um, I actually had something that I needed to bring to the company that was downtown. So I was like, you know what, I'm going home. I'll take it for y'all in my you know my way of going yeah, home. Sure. I went to take the package to these guys. And all you heard was, and the shit just, and I was in the building. I wasn't upstairs yet, but I was in the building, and everybody's looking around like, what the fuck was that? You were in Tower 2 or Tower 1? I believe The one that got hit first. You got to be Tower 1. Tower 1 got hit first. Yes, Tower 1 got hit first. I was in the next tower, but you, I mean, like, when I tell you, the shit sounded like, it was like, and then... Shit just was, it was incredibly wow. loud. You mean when it collapsed? When it collapsed. Oh, shit. Yeah. So I was like, oh, nah, I need to get the fuck up out of here. I w- and I drove down there. So by the time I jumped in the car and went across the Brooklyn Bridge. Did the first tower collapse? Yes. Yeah. And then it was the second shit was like, as I was going across the bridge, it was wow. like, boom, boom. And you still heard that shit. And I still heard that shit. And I was like, yo, what Were the you thinking fuck? back when you heard the second one? Like, what the fuck is... Yo, I'm t- the first one was enough. You know, when shit go off with gunshots or whatever, is, or yeah, whatever yeah. it's <laughs> like either you getting the fuck out of here or you hauling ass. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And that was really... But that, 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 that was like inconceivable. Yeah, for man. anything like that, to like even, you couldn't prepare. We it, couldn't like, even fathom for yeah. something it, like that it to was, even happen. The shit was like pure shock. Like yeah. it was a next like, level of evil. Yeah. Like to, to yeah. plan that shit and just Bro. like fly a fucking yeah, plane yeah. into a building. Yeah, yeah. being in the West Coast, we, I didn't understand. Well, I was ten, eleven at the time. But when they start saying, "Yo, everything's closed. Disneyland's Yo, closed. Everything's they closed." They shut. The whole city got shut down. The, no, the whole, whole United States city got, is like got shut down. nothing. The whole moved. city changed. Don't go outside. Nothing like it was like nope, stay indoors. I don't care. Like mm-hmm. nothing moved. Like nothing was moving at yeah. all. Yeah, it was a horrible, horrible day. That was. A horrible I, I, day. I think nightlife definitely got affected by it. Yeah, I don't think the, it came back after that. Yo, real it changed, rap changed. Yeah. Change, real definitely. rap, and I think like right after that. Yeah, is when like the big clubs, like all the clubs, started like simmering and just closing down. And mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, and it was just like oh shit. You know, Damn, man. it was crazy. So it was, it was like, weird because you wanted to like weather the storm and kind of just get back to life. But it was you want to support these clubs. But what do you do to go? What do you mm-hmm. what do you go to clubs for to have a good time and to party and to forget it what's happening? And everybody was depressed. Day to day life. Yeah, yeah. It, it was tough. It was. Yeah. I, I watched the second building come down from my backyard. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Crazy. Not so it was the fighter jets that ultimately the fighter the, jets that went across because it it was so low. Uh-huh. So like mm. literally, you could like see the fire coming out of fucking oh, shit. jets. Yeah. yeah. So that that really meant it was that low, and that noise is what knocked out my hearing. So, That's you up. know, I'm yeah, like, man. I, you know, again, we, you know, we go to parties, and we're, you know, the the noise is like in our ears, and then yeah. eventually we're like, ah, we go to sleep, we lay down. It'll come back in a couple of hours. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't come back yet. And I'm like, all right, right it's, it's been a, two weeks. Wow. It's a two weeks. Oh <laughs> shit, it's a month. Yeah. And and trust me when I tell you, man, it, it was so fucking frustrating. It was mm-hmm. frustrating as fuck. Yeah. And um, because ultimately when you're mixing, I mean, yeah. I don't know how you guys are. You, your headphones. You, I yes. Mean, the way I'm at, you're listening to your headphones in your left ear. Yeah. And man. I'm listening to the speakers on the right ear. Yeah. The monitor speakers. So absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm blending. You know, Absolutely, both ears. But when you lose one ear, it's like this is and this is know? gonna be a great conversation because all you DJs that are out here that are not using headphones, you need to fucking use your headphones. Use it, the cam. Use your headphones. Well, like the shit is important. Well, why? Well, why do you say that? Because your fucking headphones. But why? But why? Because then, because all of the train wrecks. <laughs> <laughs> that we also hear, yeah. Because everybody just feels like just like don't be shitty just, DJs. But you're okay. Yeah, like, you're okay not to use headphones. You. Yeah, like it's. <laughs> but you know, it, it, it makes wish, no sense for you to tell I them to wish, use headphones. But I you, wish you wish you could use headphones. I wish I could use headphones. Like I did an old school. I did like I did like an old school set at this venue at this lounge, mm-hmm. 
and I was like mixing a lot of like I don't know like uh, like brick house, mm-hmm. a lot of like cool in the gang shit. A lot of shit is like off beat. Drums, yo. that's yeah, right. Live. That oh, cool in the gang, <laughs> ladies' night. Yeah. That, that drummer did a line of coke like Drums. towards the tail end. Of, this yo. is your night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what, what is doing? up? What is up with these motherfuckers? Oh, like like that said though, shit. it's like a lot of live instrumentation. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. Like, yeah. But like you, like the beginning of a song will be at like one ten, and then it'll end up at one twenty. It's one thing if the beat slips, but like some cool in the gang shit they were just like fuck it let's go from like yeah. 113 yeah. to like 122 fuck it I'm in a groove oh, fuck it <laughs> I'm in a groove like you say towards the end of ladies night the drums just like speed that's up that's what I'm saying when they go <laughs> this, 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 it goes from like 110 to like by the time it goes to the sophisticated mama yeah. you're like oh shit this is going fast yeah, like what the fuck this made it even better when you were doing that sophisticated yeah. mama but see the good thing about that shit though that you're saying and and that's this is the most important thing is that you know the record See, mm-hmm. that's the point, and that's something that I've learned afterwards. Because it was like, you know, I, I've been playing these records for a long time, so yeah. I mm-hmm. what I call a pocket. So if you don't, if you know the pocket of these records, mm-hmm. it's a lot easier to shift through and mix records, and you know, yeah, and get course. out, you know, yeah. without having that <laughs> that problem. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> when you when you get new music, do you just study the music? Um, I listen know your pockets? to everything that I listen. I listen to everything. Yeah. Before I play it, everything. So I have to. Um, I don't really. I, I'll cue it sometimes. It all depends on the records because most of the records are like probably front up start. Uh-huh. Or um, I don't really like. I don't really use like what are the intro, intro records? Just yeah. intros. Yeah. I, don't I noticed really that last those. night. Like you didn't. Yeah, really use I'm intros. like right yeah. on, on the, the record. You know, yeah, on the one or if I slap it in. Or I use extendeds. I use yeah. a lot of extendeds. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> get, get some extendeds in your life. <laughs> get some extendeds in your life, bro. Yeah, I, I think. Well, I you know? mean, for me, it, it that was just something that you know. I yeah. guess that's a New York thing, probably. Like, I'm from New York too, but I mean, I, I love an extended motherfucker. Yeah. I say it all the time, and heaven. I love that. Yeah, shit. well, I, I'm noticing a lot of the records aren't very in their original album version aren't yeah. very DJ friendly. Well, until you see Mel Star make yeah. it work, but yeah, I, 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 I can't. I can't scratch anything. I my balls, like. But. The br- I like just being able to mix yeah. records with bands and the shit is just going all over the fucking place. So, you know, you have to have a good bend game. As yeah. Like, you know, so but you, you got a bend. good, pause, you got a good mic, mic presence. Yeah, and then you got to have <laughs> yeah, a <you're> great <laughs> mic presence. Pause. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I don't, I don't want to big him up too much on the nah, mic, but nah, I mean, yeah, you're yeah, nasty yeah. on the mic. Pause. <laughs> Your mic game is sick. I yeah. appreciate it. Nah, that, I, that was the only lot. DJ I, I've ever I seen that could keep a dance floor rocking yeah. with no music playing. Just yeah. with his personality and his mic work is amazing. Fuck is going to pause. Your guys are making me blush. No, I, I, I just love what I do. That's that's really honest. Yeah. I love what I do. Like it's it's really something that I I, I take with a uh, great appreciation and importance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and watching and looking at all of the people that you know that that came and paved the way. So you know, yeah. so it's just that practice was it. Mm-hmm. Like you had to get that. You know what I'm saying to come out the door. So, so when you DJ, when you DJ with no headphones and you're dropping a lot of shit on the one, mm-hmm. you're still navigating, or you know that certain songs are going to be problems and you're going to have to you're going to have to work it out on the mic. Um, that's no. kind of what I do on the mic for me. Right. I know I'm like, yo, this is this song's a little bit of a problem. Right. Yeah. Well, I got to do some mic work yeah, on it, but as soon as it gets going, it'll work. You know. And that's the thing, like, and that's why I was saying, like, what's for me, what was important was. I don't. Re- it's funny because I didn't have that problem because I wasn't a mic talker. I didn't really? talk on a mic. Uh-huh. So when when did when you, did you start? Uh, did you have like Frank shit. Jugger with you when you were spinning? Yeah, yeah. shouts out to Frank Jugger. <laughs> 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 ah, yeah. But and, and it's funny because watching Capri and yeah. watching Bruce and Ron Starsky. and Love Bug, so, yeah. of course. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, okay. They're taking this and doing so. I and and again, my world wasn't hip hop. I came from a house. My house, my background was house. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I already knew how to mix. So I already knew how to put the records in the pocket. I already knew where to segregate. You know, you know, move the records and and get it where I wouldn't have a hard time. Right. So it was like, even if it's like slowly coming. But I know at a certain part of the record, it's going to lock up. Right. Yeah. That's the pocket. So mm-hmm. from that, I would use that mm-hmm. and then say something. Oh, yeah. Da, 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 and right. the record is already coming. Mm-hmm. And then I'm out. 
When you started DJing, you started with um, Tony Humphreys? So, my uncle, Butch Williams, that's, that was my uncle. Um, how that all happened was um, I was carrying records for Tony Humphrey, Kerry Chandler, uh, Little Louis God, Vega. Little Louis Vega back That's then. Crazy. I, I interned for um, Masters at Work. Wow. And um, so that was Kenny, Louis, um, Todd, CNC Music oh, Factory. Yeah. Oh, wow. All of that. So I was. That was like early 90s, right? Yeah. So it was like I was at it's, that. He's really feeling himself, right? he's feeling himself right now. That's he crazy. Was, man. That's he's crazy. Like, <laughs> he should, like, it should. was like, yeah. So I was. That's house, house. House, yeah. house. So, yeah. like. Everyone yeah. always says, like, you know, it's funny, like, when I'm on Twitter or when I talk to the to the, to the the youngins, to the kids, yeah. they're like, I talk about house, and they're like, oh, EDM. Yeah. And they're like, house is a form of EDM. I'm like, no, 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 no. no, no, no. Yeah. House is house. Yeah, and then you have huge EDM. Difference. <clears throat> huge difference. And, then, yeah. and they're like, no, there's so many categories in EDM. I'm like, no, no, no. house yeah, is house. House, <laughs> house <laughs> is house. And, and, and to and the then, people yeah. that call everything with a 4-4. Four, four, yeah. Time signature, <laughs> yeah. techno. <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> everything yes. is like they're renaming everything. I was playing yeah, music yeah, genres. <laughs> yeah, and their own I genres. Would, they're like fuck everybody else. Genres. I, yeah. I I love the kids, but they're renaming shit that I was like, wait, I thought that was. I easy. thought this was techno. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And this, and I thought this was deep house. I was yeah. playing music sounds better deep with house you techno, at, right? at light in like 2003. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, yeah. I, I just played my first like house record, and wow. somebody goes, "Are you going to play techno for the rest of the night?" I'm like, Tough. "I wasn't going to play any techno. Now I think I am." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, asshole. But whoever that is, if you're listening, fuck you. But they're calling, <laughs> but they're calling like deep house techno now. Yeah, yeah. it's weird, right? Every, it's yeah. everything. It's they're putting a, a synth on. If there's now. a four four, right? you know, yeah. they putting a synth in, in some yeah. of the music now. So mm. that right there just automatically yeah. segues uh, over. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what what is that fucking? I can't think of it now. Sandbox? No, no. Sand, Sandstorm. 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 That's technically techno. That's more like yeah, it's I like trance like or techno. Yeah, it's, not, it's not really trance. techno. It's, it's more trance. like a yeah. progressive yeah. trance. Yeah. Progressive trance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I was like, I thought techno was like a totally different thing. Yeah. And now I'm hearing like crazy vocals over these like deep house beats. Yeah. And deep I, house. And then they're they're deep calling. It, they're, I don't know what they're calling it. They're well, it's calling interesting it like, because even like even like like Kevin Saunders like the the Detroit techno scene. Yeah. Birth. Some records that we would call ha- like Inner City, Good Life, and Big Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah Big that's, Fun. That's that was house. Yeah, that, that was it's considered house. house. But considered. like Kevin Saunderson, it has a techno background. Kevin that Saunderson, that Juan that Atkins, that that you know, who was Cybertron and all that stuff. The and, synthesizers. Uh, that's yeah. what did yeah. it. Yeah, I just pulled up a, a list of uh, how to break down the EDM genres. You have tech house, tropical house, trance, Goodness. uplifting trance, pay trance, tech trance, ha- hardcore, hard style, techno, wow. dubstep, drum and bass, liquid drill. Just keeps liquid going. Liquid drill? <laughs> well, hold on. What, liquid drill? Yeah, gotta liquid drill. drill. Okay. Uh, <laughs> drum step. In- injections. Uh, glitch hop, <laughs> neuro and I, hop. I, and I literally feel like in Europe, there's a DJ for each one of those. Every categories. single yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. New yeah. disco. I love you. Vaporwave, Acid House. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Acid House. We get shit. We get We get Acid House. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. crazy. Like Tyree Cooper. I remember Cooper. Cypher said that like Drill is like their trap house, like their yeah. trap. Yeah, yeah. Of the UK. But they're yeah. rapping on it, which sounds great. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So you was you was working with all these legends. Yeah. So basically, what happened was my uncle knew all of those guys. So like I knew and met Larry Levan. I met Frankie Knuckles. Wow, I man. met Kerry Chandler. Um, mm-hmm. Timmy Regisford, uh mm-hmm. Shep Pettibone, oh, yeah. T. Scott. Oh yeah. Um, so like all of those guys, they were they were the club scene at the time. And so when I was young, I used to go as a kid to those clubs. Did you, hit wow. did you go to the, the um, Paradise Garage? I went to. I did not go to the Paradise. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. not to the garage, but to the shelter. I went to the shelter. Yeah. Yeah. Zanzibar? Yeah. yeah, Zanzibar. Yeah. Uh, shit, Tipton's, uh, Lamar Bag. How old were you? I was a kid, bro. Like 13, 16? Yeah. Thank you, David Dickens. That. But Thank you know you. what it was? The good thing, I used to carry the music into the clubs. Drugs, crazy. So if you can imagine what that <laughs> time was like, especially being in a club. Mm-hmm. So they would be like, we'll be back. And I would be in a club playing records. Oh wow! So that's how I really 
got a hold of like playing and knowing how to you know to mix. put it all together to mix to really yeah. mm-hmm. mix records and stuff and like then that. these clubs they wasn't playing hip-hop they was playing and it was like r&b in house absolutely house and disco and, and disco there you go and on top of that there was three turntables and all of them had yuri's or bozak mixes yeah, so there right. were no cross and they were floated and there was and it suspension. was on suspension You're right and yeah so the booth monitors where you could actually instead of using the headphones you, they would have the booth Mm-hmm. For you to listen to, and instead of the headphones, so it was crazy. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. It was crazy. Like, yeah. Oh, wait, so, so you were mixing with the so booth and the outspeakers and the out. Yeah. Oh, so wow. The club was out here, and the booth. You had, you know, your, the queuing was inside the booth. Wow, that's was crazy. crazy. It was crazy back yeah. then. That's a. But yeah. the sound systems yeah, were so crazy. sophisticated back then so it was like it, it was warm was right sa- like that it was animal. almost soundproof uh-huh. but you could hear everything out there mm. as soon as you turn down the cube yeah it's crazy they they really fucking that all That's the analog crazy. sound was so good yeah too. it was oh my god i couldn't like <laughs> and a lot of those were like richard long richard systems long, gary stewart you know so yeah. it was yeah gary, yeah, gary yeah. stewart so it was like <sighs> we, we re- recently uh released the episode from miami with mm-hmm. dizza oh wow with dizza we were talking about uh uh, Larry Levan, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and then there was all of the Paradise Garage kind of mixes that you you guys heard. Mm-hmm. We, they were saying that basically it's all about programming, yeah. it's all about yeah. selection, and that a lot of mixes, yeah. a lot of uh, a lot of uh, the mixes that Larry Levan did, he would, was kind of like he was trained. Trained record, record. Yeah. Right. He was never yeah. known as a very yeah. good mixer, but yeah. he would create atmosphere. Exactly. He, would, he would turn the air conditioning on. He yeah. would do all these. Things yeah. so lighting. that would yeah. So then I was like, I was talking with Boogie Blind, and he's like, mm-hmm. "Yo, you guys are off." And I was like, "You know, shout to Boogie Blind." He's like, "Yo, you guys are off." Like Larry Levan was actually really nasty. He was yeah. doubling up on Cavern. He yeah. was like, he was doubling up on breakbeats, and he was actually mixing well. But then when he got sick, yeah, he was he unable. Lost a step. Yeah, he, he lost yeah, a few steps. Yeah, he was unable mm-hmm. to mix, and mm-hmm. and he started getting sick, and he started getting these um these gigs. Yeah, but some of the the some of the the recordings we're hearing yeah. was when he was sick. Yeah, he was way. So it's like weird. Yeah, I don't know. Up. I've heard. I've heard mixed things. I've also heard in his prime, he was just even at the height of garage. Right. He yeah. was still just never. He wasn't the greatest. He wasn't gonna ride mixes. Right, but he would do creative his, stuff. Exactly. Like, right. yeah. If you ever watched the documentary Maestro, yeah. you know there was a, a, a lot of old garage heads mm-hmm. that would like recollect like certain mixes that he did, and one of them when he he would play Aleem release yeah. yourself. And then he would mix it with like when the doves cry and create this thing where, you know, there was like a story like a being told. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So, you know, he was very creative, but I don't think as far as beat matching, I've I've heard more people tell me that he wasn't a great, right, great mixer. mixer. And, yeah. But and, and that comes from he's, also he's an icon, man. So he was doing and something right. Yeah, like, and I was t- I was telling Crooked that because he had gotten into it with like a couple of other DJs. I was telling him that oh, Larry Levan was like the greatest mitzvah or whatever, and it's like no, nah, he wasn't. He but wasn't. He just played he was, great music. He was, the, right. he was definitely by far, programming. exactly by far one of the best selectors right. mm-hmm. by far. Yeah, by far. You'll hear a Rolling Stones record followed by Eddie Grant, followed by Third World, and then like you know Tasha Thomas or something like, like and, just and everything. You and know? then play a slow then, record yeah. right after that. Right. And then throw in the middle of the party. James Brown. And <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that is a fact. And I was just kind of, ex- we were talking about this in Miami with Desa because we were talking about the youth and how they're approaching things differently. They are. They're not approaching it by BPM. And I feel like sometimes we get stuck in BPM. Yeah. And then when we all get stuck in BPM, you hear the same songs being played yeah. because we're all stuck in that BPM. Yep. And the way these kids are DJing, because they're already making playlists, right. they're they're kind of organizing their songs by energy and like vibe, yeah. and vibe, and it, and it doesn't. I'm not mad at that. And they don't yeah. have, and it's almost like, I feel like sometimes when we have such a wide catalog of music, yeah, it hurts. It hurts us. I agree with that because we can go too deep into. We can go one like thing, so yeah. deep in one tunnel, yeah. pause, right. and then <laughs> <laughs> that was a reach. But I, I see where you were going with that one. I was going to say uh, we get caught in the left it's stroke. Shorter, we don't do the right stroke shorter, a little bit, yeah. you know. Yeah. We just got to move it around. Yeah. <laughs> Hit all the walls yeah. of the so club. Fill up all the hole. walls. <laughs> Come every <Yeah. Harry>, stop. <laughs> 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 nah, nah. But you, what I'm trying to say is that sometimes you know I feel like as DJs when we when we go left, yeah. 
We're like, okay, the crowd's with me. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go more left. You know, yeah. it, instead and, of bring it back to the center. Right. And, then, and I feel like these kids, they go left and then you bring it back to the center. Then they go right and then bring it back to the right. center. They keep going like back and Dutch. forth. Yeah. Right. But that also, you know, that's true. But then you also got to think of the DJ. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like every DJ is its own person and they mm-hmm. have their own identity and they right. have their own way of thinking, you know what I'm saying, and, yeah. and their own way of putting it together, you know what I mean, so shout out to the younger ones, I like yeah, some yeah. of them like, I'll be like, oh shit, why did he play that, right. but I get it, because the crowd is like, oh shit, he's playing this I, like, I would take that approach more than leaning on the transition records yeah. that would take you from, mm-hmm. easily from 75 to right. 128, or but whatever see, the fuck it's gonna be, I but mean then there's, I, but like I said, in, when you switch part, BPMs, that part <laughs> when you switch BPMs yeah. We're getting into a very foggy yeah, area because you yeah. need a transition. Yeah. And if you're not good on the mic, Suddenly. and if you can't scratch something out, you, need, you know, you're going to have to find a clever way. You'll be like, ah! You're gonna I've have said to like find 10 like, words on the mic in yeah. 25 years of DJ. I mean, our, our go-to back in the day, our go-to was what? A DJ Cool Acapella? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Was that one? If you're ready, you know, no, clap your hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One, twenty minute workout. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, really? <laughs> but then there, I think you know, like my one of the things that I like doing with that though is like I always say the the faster you go, the slower you can be. Explain. So like transitioning, like you know, obviously like those like some of those records where they're like okay, there's like uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know any of the house records that are at one twenty, one twenty five. Yeah, yeah. Show me love, into yeah, well, right. Fucking. So like me to segue, I would probably play a Cardi record right. or something like that, right. just yeah. to to you know spin Half-time, that off right. and say, oh shit. And then you cut the Cardi's like sixty BPM, right? And it's so like, right. like a double time, yeah. Yeah. right? So you're using yeah. the time to switch, you know, to make the segue. So stuff like that, you know, it's 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 cool. But what know? what if you're at like, you know, like 85 and you want to go to like, you, you know, gotta, you got 170? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know, you gotta figure that shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta find that transition. Right? I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta the, find the segue, it. whatever. Yeah, you gotta find it. Gotta find it. And I always find that like, even myself, I think of the technical too much sometimes. Yeah. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking backspin this shit and just drop, drop the drop shit it. and talk on the and mic. Yeah. Yeah. It always works. Yeah. 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 And it always works. Yeah, we overthink it sometimes. We yeah. do yeah. overthink it. And that's why yeah. I love these kids because I feel like we, because we've been doing it so long, yeah. we get stuck in these Im- this imaginary rules. This is how it should be done. Right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. And we get 100%. stuck in the BPM rules, the transition. Rule. Everything has to be clean. And like, no, it doesn't. Right. Like, yeah. even somebody's, like you said, Larry Levan was... Like had had, had Fat Boy Slim is yeah. another one. If you yeah, watch, right. the, the, he did a thing on Brighton Beach called the Big Big Beach Boutique. It was like five hundred thousand people, or mm-hmm. maybe a million. It was insane, and he played the right records at the right time. But the mixes were sloppy. But right. it, was, it didn't mean it wasn't a party. People were vibing on everything he did. Yeah. yeah. So I th- we definitely overthink it sometimes. I've never, we're I've, we're always our own worst critics too. And I've I mean, never really heard a DJ. Unless they were like outlandishly bad, like consistently yeah. bad Be train like, records. Damn, B. <laughs> like, like you can't really program or mix. You like, just yeah. should hang it up. Just, yeah. yeah. You usually have God one damn. or the other, right? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have one or the, the other. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you can even still learn from that. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> you pick up from all things, man. You I learn. I learn a lot more. I've from, heard some from bad, bad DJs, DJs, and I don't like, even want to wow. call any DJ bad. They just maybe I didn't understand what they were doing, but I'm like, bad. I can actually but take that, from that, yeah, and kind of like clean it up and make it my Absolutely. own. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah, yeah because so, they they got the balls, right? To, yeah, to they have the courage to at least try it. It's all about the balls. Well, it's not even courage. It's it's the delusion or they disconnect it, right? Or the confidence. They have at least confidence. They're thinking they're rocking it. Fuck it, I'm just doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I, lo- I I would rather hear a bad DJ any day yeah. than a really technically sound boring DJ. Yeah, that's yeah. the worst. Yeah, yeah. Sure. just all lot, and that's what it, and that's the, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, like play uh, by the book. It's I don't like, want to watch you play checkers. Yeah, all right. yeah. I mean, when like, when when Ableton start getting started to get popular, a lot of st- DJs started DJing with Ableton, basically just dragging a track in. Figuring out where you want the transition to happen, yeah, and it was just too perfect. Yeah. You need human error to to just mm-hmm. mm-hmm. kind of feel some kind of vibe. I don't want to hear a seamless mix. I'm not listening to a mix CD that I picked up or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's why those disco I need records. Human touch. Yeah. That's yeah. that's the pro- that's the purpose of those disco yeah. records. That's it right yeah. there, just to to get that feel. Like one moment, it's like. 
and then the next one was like, uh, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? And you oh, like, yeah. you just got to figure it out. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm mm-hmm. telling you, there's certain there's certain like songs from the '70s that I don't even play in the club because I'm like, ah oh, man, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> to try to figure this mix out, <laughs> I, have, you know, I don't have enough Jimmy Walkers in me yet. Like, the, like, let me go into my Drake intros. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yo, I, don't, me. I don't even want to figure this out. Tell me what's you know really what going on. Remember, like in the two thousands, was this the mid two thousands? They were quantizing everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, remember that? Everything. And they were quant- like, yeah. I was kind of feeling that though <laughs> yeah. when they were quantizing, and everyone was like, "Yo, you want a brick house quantize?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah. It, it just <laughs> sounds like a type of yeah." They were just warping everything, right? Just to be on the grid the with no <laughs> yo so yeah. those beats though when you listen to it it's so off yeah, like brick yeah. house is so it's off crazy it's yeah. like the one is like boom dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 your hand <laughs> so it sounds good though man. <laughs> yes <laughs> right because it's being done by human exactly yeah it's not a machine i mean <laughs> and even even if you are using like drum machines, yeah. you add some swing to it. You want it to kind of yeah. come yeah. off a little bit. You don't necessarily yeah. want well, it to be so on the fucking. It's so perfect. Yeah. It just and, and loses the, the Jacksons yeah. were were on that like that. They were yeah. like, we would never quantize nothing. We just played, and whatever happens, just happened. <laughs> they were big on that, like huge. Like it worked out well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. obviously. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It makes me wonder though, some of the choruses that were like seven bars or whatever, like they just cut yeah. off if they just maybe just cut right off, right? Just to missed the, the step. Was that on purpose when they did that? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, over this. I, mean, yeah, it's I don't, don't want to sing this anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. So let's, uh, what do you call it? But you know what? Actually, I wanted to ask you guys a question because Sorry. there was a point where I was like, uh, when I was spinning and I wasn't into it. Oh yeah. And I felt the crowd. I was playing all the right shit, but they weren't into it. And then when I started getting into it, they got into it. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I was wondering how my emotions and how my feelings translates to the fucking room. It's even amazing. though I'm playing all the quote unquote right shit. No, it's, it's, it's really nuts. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. so when I started playing what I wanted to hear, like people the crowd started feeling it somehow and I'm right. like, yo, how the fuck Somehow your happening? enthusiasm was yeah. translating to yeah. everything well, yeah. that you were doing technically. That's real. It's, it's no different from like a comedian. Like they could yeah. tell the joke, but if you're not if they're not right. feeling the joke, yeah. you can tell when like the yeah. motherfucker ain't up there like giving it his all, like trying to tell jokes. Yeah. It's a, it's That's a little right. different though because you know the comedian's the vessel, yeah, and, and the music is the vessel, and all I'm doing is playing it. You know, sometimes you just go in without a plan. Yeah, just You'd, walk in and just be like, "All right, so she's the twenty years over there, and thirties over there." The fifties over there. All right, play a Frank Sinatra record. Bang. <laughs> and I would do some shit like that. Like yeah. I'm weird. Like I walk in. I think matter of fact, the first time oh, I came there. Friends? Yeah, 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 motherfuckers was looking like yeah. what Did song he did just play? do that? He opened with the theme from Friends. Yeah. Uh, I played, enough, no, 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 cheers, cheers, cheers. I played cheers. 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 I walked cheers, in, I was cheers. like, oh, yo, you know what? He didn't play the red brands. I'll be there. Yeah, I played Cheers, and then yeah. one time cheers, I came yeah. in there and played like the acapella to "Fly Me to the Moon." Just walked yeah. in. That was the first record, and everybody yeah. was like, "Just reset everything, yeah. Yeah. Just oh, whatever." Shit. You know, and I noticed too. Like sometimes, you know, I I, I always loved doing live blends, live yeah. live remixes, yeah. Yeah. and then sometimes I would take those live mixes that I do with the club, and then just do them in the studio and mm-hmm. make them and. And even when I play the pre-made one, yeah. it still doesn't seem to have the same effect of, of it doing it live. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, I always felt that. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> but, but, but the reason why I brought that up is because sometimes I feel like when we hear a quote-unquote bad DJ, mm-hmm. or maybe a technically bad DJ, right. the energy is still right because they're having fun. Right. And that somehow that energy is going through the music. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's no, it's true. Right? Because, like, yeah, sometimes I'm dialing it in and I'm like, Wow, this is like I gotta find a pocket where find I'm actually yeah. yeah that mojo yeah. And then I yeah. recently I've been kind of like you know I think back in the day we would really play to the crowd, mm-hmm. and I feel like nowadays it's like I gotta start playing for myself. You know what's funny a little bit yeah. And, you, and you're right bit. about that. Think about when we were playing like New York shit. Like yeah. there weren't four DJs at a party, so that was another thing too. So there was like it was like one. Or maybe two DJs, and the second DJ was usually a reggae DJ. So you had to figure out the like program it. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to start and try to make sure you wasn't playing like the same record twice or three times in a fucking night. Six yeah, hour so nights like, were standard. Yeah, that I was mean, like yeah. standard. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Salute to y'all. 
you know, yeah. <laughs> even out here, like I, that was a lot of time. Like but it's it was fun. It's it was fun. fun. It doesn't even feel like work, man. Because you you get to really control yeah. the entire night, right. like yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. And, and I always tell like quickest point because me and Never were standing behind when you were on, and we we're like, damn, he played some shit that I wouldn't think to play in here. But yeah. just your energy yeah. translated to the that crowd. That fucking and, Buddy Morale shit. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> what I played a Buddy Morrell record. Really? And I was like, "What the?" Fuck? <laughs> but but your energy translated enough and to where the crowd shit, follow what you, you do. Just, yeah, you know what I mean, and it's, it's it's definitely like, fuck it, we with him. Right? Yeah. yeah, like it's it's about the control. Like if you control the situation, you know, then it's like they trust you. Yeah, and you have to gain the trust of the people. If you don't gain the trust, that's the kick of pre effect. Like yeah. remember, like kid would be in there, he wouldn't say shit. But when he introed himself, it was like <gasps> Jesus just walked into the fucking building. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, like, yeah. Ah. yeah. You know what I mean? So you learn and that's what I'm saying, you learn from those people. Like kid was like one, you know, Jeff was technical and just always sharp, putting it in place, da 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 da. And Bruce just talked shit. Love bug was a shit talker so mm-hmm. you just don't know what would come out of his mouth mm-hmm. but he would just say the right shit yeah and then they'd be like oh yeah we just fucking with him and yeah. then it was like once you gathered that moment and that momentum is like you could just coast yeah uh, you, you mentioned there's like four djs a night in, in new york right what what it what is that like now? What what is the New York scene like? It's the New York, yo man, I Break love it New down. York. Yeah. New York has, and and we you know we were just talking about the whole nine eleven effect. Like yeah. that really to me, like after that, like two thousand two thousand one is when like clubs started closing, mm-hmm. and then like I remember, I believe like Live Nation took um they took Roseland, and then they also took um. What was the other club? So, like, what was there? Um, Mars 2112 was, was around at that oh, time. Yeah, that's right. Um, what's the other shit that was right by it? Studio I, 54 was across the street from Rosemary. 54 was over there. Mm-hmm. Um, Roxy was mm-hmm. still yeah. running. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, all the big clubs that were, like, in Midtown. 1018. 1018. Mm-hmm. La Barbat. Yeah. Um, shit. Cheetahs. Yeah. Shit. Um, you know I mean, like, the show? Yeah. Columbus 72. Was that? the show after? That was later, right? The show? Even that, was later. Yeah, yeah. that was later. Yeah. yeah. So, like, That's, like, all, my era. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. all those big clubs, like, the Shadow, Shelter, um, mm-hmm. shit, Tipton's. Yeah. Even, um, like, even, like, Wetlands. Final. Yeah. Like, what, was the, what, was, and what was the what was the church? Oh, Twilight, 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 yeah, Twilight. Yeah. Twilight. Yeah. Twilight. So Twilight. all Twilight. of that. Limelight and then Twilight. Limelight was the church. Yeah. Yeah. Twilight was on 27. Yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah. All that stuff got taken away. You know what I'm saying? And then even look with um, when Flex was doing um, tunnel? the tunnel. Yeah. Like yeah, all right. that shit is gone, man. Yeah. Like yeah. all of it. Like so now it's like everything is like sports bars, sports lounges. The lounge. Yeah. With, yeah. with fucking... Um, PA systems damn near in the in the club. So it's like yeah. the club effect is not the same because you used to be able to have that a row of fucking 18 inches and a bunch of, you know, shit stacked up. You, you can mm-hmm. feel the music. Do you think like, it would have devolved even without a 9-11 and we, even without? I you, think if 9-11 wouldn't have happened, it, New York would have been bigger. Yeah. Because then you think about the, the music too. The music changed and then it was like everything kind of like shifted you know, out of New York, like so, New York, like kind of like took a, a hammer. Yeah, you know what I mean. As far as like music is concerned, so now it's like West Coast driven, or um, Midwest, or you know. So. I mean, look at even like how like the airports and how we travel changed. Yeah, we, we never had. Yeah. TSA, we never had that clear shit. all that shit. Remember, like, not don't bring any water on a plane yeah. or whatever. That you shit can't was crazy. Well, there was no yeah. TSA like before. No. No. Yo, I remember I, I used to go out of town and like my like mom and my sister would come meet me at the gate. Yeah, yeah. Dude. like right, right. You right. could like, walk right. through, through at the right. Right. Yeah. Right. like everyone right. could walk through. Yeah, and like yeah. they could they could see like this when you walked out the gate, like so there was no security at all. No, if you had a kid, you have to wait until the motherfuckers come all the way out the gate to get them. Yeah. You can't even go in oh, and get them. Shit. It's crazy now. Like, 
I'm sure we back up, then. Up, I, 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 did they even have a metal detector? They did, right? That's always they, had they, had they, they, they had the metal. You just went through it, but, you but went, yeah. it wasn't as bad. Like you could keep your belt. Oh, they be like, oh, you just got on a belt. You could right, keep man. your you drugs know? on you back then. It was, yeah. it was so much better. Oh no! I'm about to say you could keep your sneakers on, but you went forever. You keep your drugs on. Just make sure you wasn't smelling. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, it changed everything. I'm like I'm sure. I'm like because all I know is it was crazy. I think honestly, it was the maybe it was always like that, but I think it was really the beginning of people capitalizing off of fear. Yeah, plus records when we had records and cases. Yeah. We used to fly all the record cases. Now you gotta pay what, forty, thirty five, fifty dollars? Yeah. Thirty dollars a bag. A bag. Yeah. A bag. Kid right. used yeah. to so imagine a hundred. Kid used to travel with what? Like sixteen <laughs> oh, yeah. or something Kid like was that. Seventeen, 17 cases of records. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, uh Bill Spector told us he was traveling with like fifteen bags. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking that was, crazy. Yeah. yeah. So wait, wait. So I, I talk to a lot of New York DJs. They DM me, they like they message me and stuff. Mm-hmm. They it's bad. Yeah, it's really bad. Like, it's bad. As far as like work is going for for the yeah. club scene. Oh, well, like I said, the, the, again, the clubs are gone. That's period. But I mean, even, Brooklyn yeah. is rocking. Like Brooklyn has a, quite a few. Um, like they have the industrial areas out there, so they mm-hmm. they still keep that going. You know what I'm saying? But it's affordable to live in Brooklyn. So a lot of the yo, uh, it's yo. fucking more expensive in Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn than is, is, yeah, Brooklyn is bad now. It's, it's more affordable in certain parts. Is, in certain parts, it's yeah. it's a little better. It's, it's well, Williamsburg like is Bed Stuy is, is yeah, high Stuy. right now. Bed Stuy. That's like they call Brooklyn Heights now. It's wow, like, but Crown Heights is okay, I think. Right? Brooklyn yeah, Heights. Yeah, is Crown Heights. Yeah, Brooklyn. I know. Heights it's, I know now, it's like, moving over like to Crown Heights. How's Marcy Projects? Yeah, like I mean, all of that. Like I said, all the areas definitely all are changing you know what i'm saying and it's like it's, it's gentrified now like so what's the vibe with djs now there's is there like a unity with those or everyone's um, just scrambling to get get gigs and shit it's a little bit of both it you know there's still cruise, uh, very cutthroat but it's cutthroat i think yeah to me I, I feel it's cutthroat right now it's like you know that could be your man and he would take your party <laughs> type yeah, shit. Like, like but it's it's also the theory of you know it's business too like a lot of people gotta you know at the end of the day you gotta realize and understand that it is, it is business but at the same time it's like you can't th- there should never be friendships while trying to make your money you know what i mean and that's that's really the case in new york like it's no friendships with that when you're trying mm. to make your money, it's like, come on, B, I'm not fucking with you. Like, yeah. are you serious? We cool outside. We go play a game. We can go to the park. We can go take our kids and take walks. But don't eat my food. But you can't eat yeah. my food. Get out of here. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Man, you know. Yo, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm trying to figure out what's going on in New York, but I'm not in there. Yeah, I, I'm um, not in I go there. every every so often, man. I love New York. Like, I I just go you back. Live, you still you live in Harlem? I still have a space in Harlem, but I. I love New York, man. I, I still come, you know. Are I go you spending back and forth. in Harlem regularly? Um, no. no, that's what's crazy. Like, um, I'm again watching what's happening, and I'm like, I don't want to. Are be there a part any of spots that. in Harlem to like spin or parties that's um, going on? You know, it's funny. Like, so 125th Street now has become the Strip. I noticed that. Yeah, pretty much. Like, that's like the Strip mm-hmm. right now. So, like, you know, like Red Rooster. Uh, that's the main one over there. But there's a couple, but they're all on that, in that same like three the, or four block, block radius. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean on Lenox Ave. Because um, Harlem's a different world. Like, yes, yeah, it's, it's very. It's different. not even like the shit that they're playing in Harlem. Yeah, you, you can't it's, even play it in other it's, boroughs. It's on really? space like Is that the same thing with with Brooklyn. Um, not really. Well, not really. Brooklyn was open. Like they, it's funny because Brooklyn really to me is definitely you know obviously the Jay Z effect. Like that's just what it is mm-hmm. yeah. out there. But they like music, so discos and you know classic shit. Like they still love that. But mm-hmm. New York, you know, like Ron Browns, you know what I'm saying? Right, like right. simple oh. shit. Like I you know love that saying? record. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pop champagne. And, and and he had, but he has a lot of records. But that you know only live in Harlem. But I'm saying, yeah, but, but, it's, but that's what I'm saying. Like, there's these records in Harlem that yeah. we will never hear. That you will never hear it in Vegas. Simple but it'll fucking pop off but in Harlem. Pop in and Harlem. So you'll be like, what is this? Yeah, it's like, a lot of. Shine a light on them. Like, that's yeah, another record. Yeah, tracks. No yeah. one knows about that shit. I remember I was talking to, was I talking to you or somebody? And they were like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. I'm like, yo, this is huge. <laughs> yeah. 
Sound and it's like, like and and track shit is and crazy. Like, I got Word. I got those records. I had to like search for it. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, you, you can't, can't find it. Can't find it. And that's same the thing. shit. All these, all these Harlem DJs, uh-huh. they don't want to. They don't want to give no it. Music. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. Just like, This is our world, <laughs> and we yeah, don't want to in it. Yeah, because like, Blind has some like, and that's the thing that yeah. I kind of I kind of love. It's it kind of reminds me of the Bay Area in a in a way, one hundred percent. Yeah, except Harlem was like Harlem, some stingy motherfuckers. Like they don't really. But like um. Blind will have like some like uh some remixes he'll make yes, he and would. y'all motherfuckers put like the little ma drums on everything yeah. right just the, <laughs> the little ma like lip gloss <laughs> like lip gloss is popping <laughs> yeah. yo this shit be hitting though like that's like a rhythm that's like that's like a rhythm yeah what's the other that's, like, shit? that's, that's um, like the tips that's the tipsy that's the drums for the like motherfuckers boom boom oh they're grinding you know what it's because it's 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 a clean record. Yeah, so boom, you get to put boom, 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 anything, but it has that Harlem bounce in yeah, it. That, that up, it's just that yeah. bounce, like a good, like a little shimmy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same as I'm just talking about Boogie Black is another one too. With that blaming on any record, so like there's I don't a even lot, know that exactly. Yeah, that's, so there's a big, lot yeah. of I've dope records. That's and that's a big record. In the city, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, damn, man. blame yeah. it on the henny. Blame it on the henny. That shit is a dope record. I, I'll pass that over to y'all. Please, yeah, yeah that's Send a dope that record. Man. Give me the one with the little mom. Yeah, little I want to hear the little, little, little mom version. See, I, hey, listen, yeah, y'all put the little um, mom drums. Don't fuck. Y'all put the little mom drums on everything. <laughs> Yo, so me and Jamie are from Cali. So, what is it about Harlem? Because like that's just it's always been that with music, well, yeah. with fashion. Yeah, like, like, I was a big, I was been big dipset guy, and I yeah, would hear a lot about shit. But and then and then it became uh, ASAP Rocky right, and his guys. Right, right. So it's always been like I don't know about Harlem. It's always been Harlem something. is just a pocket, it, and it it it's a it's a it's kind of like what how like how everybody says how the Bronx created you know hip hop yeah. and all of that. But Harlem Harlem has its own story, and a lot of people don't tell that story of Harlem. Like Harlem is really like you know the shit. Like break down, shit. break down the Harlem dude and a Brooklyn dude, because like a Harlem dude would be like really flossy. Yeah, really oh yeah, flossy. Harlem all day. That's that's flossy. that's either ACGs, Timberlands, yeah. Fresh Timbers, the, the real shits, the yeah. thick ones, bottoms, the six inches. Or yeah, he's, absolutely. He's a part. Or, he's a part of Manhattan, so he's kind of feeling yeah, himself. You know it's like Timmy <laughs> because it? you needed to take a you need you you kind of bridge and tunnel motherfucker. You needed you're Brooklyn, the, you but needed, I'm, I'm yeah. a part of Manhattan kind of type. Yeah. Yeah. You needed the uptown, right? Pair of dope ass right. blue jeans, a white. A Yankee fitted and a fucking buttery ass leather jacket with not a lot of colors on it. It's a different level Period. of cockiness. Like a, it's a little. <laughs> so this is a Harlem dude. This is and a Harlem you need dude. the fresh hairline and the, and yeah and the waves. That was it. Yeah, like I feel it was like the, clean. the Bronx and like Harlem coffee. was kind of nah. Bronx was a, a, a little, little a lot different. And then Brooklyn. Brooklyn was Thames and and the the, the tall um. What the shit? The beef and broccoli. I just, I just remember all the beef and broccoli. Beef and broccoli. Uh, they were the okay. beef and broccoli. And it was always like, yo, you can't trust a Brooklyn motherfucker. Like, yeah, a Brooklyn yo. motherfucker will rob a bank with you and then rob you <laughs> and take your <laughs> and take <laughs> your hat. You know what? Yeah. You know Back what in the days, you go to clubs and the DJ would shout out which borough you from. Yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn was, was the everywhere. loudest. Was, Brooklyn. Yeah. Brooklyn. yeah, all the time. Urban perspective. That's the that's the uh, urban uh, legend yeah. story too. With um, what was Red Alert? Red Alert. I I had a um. A cassette, right? And I think it was at the it was at the Latin Quarter. Latin Quarter's probably, yeah. Yo. So they were playing South Bronx. So you know the Bronx is in the house, yeah. But then when it got to the and they were known, you know, Red, I love Red. Red was known for playing a lot of instrumentals also. So like just that that So all you hear on this tape is Brooklyn. Rock, rock, lad, rock, lad. And he would say on the tape, like, yep, y'all better tuck your chains. Yeah. Because the shit is about to go down. <laughs> and it was like, did, did somebody it? just fucking, did you hear the, oof, oof, in the tape? This is on tape. <laughs> and you could hear yeah. oof, oof, in the background, like, like you know, man, what the fuck was, he's like, oh yeah, what's going down? You yeah. know, Red's like real cool. So just shit. so you guys understand what's going on. Red would play uh, Boogie Down Produ- Productions, Boogie Down Productions. South, Bronx. South Bronx. The chorus is South Bronx, Bronx. South, South, South they Bronx. They were like Brooklyn. But they would say Brooke, Brooklyn. 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 So it's like they were overpowering Yo, the actual chorus. Yeah. Unbelievable. And then with a song that he would play that would, Brooklyn would go crazy. Yeah. Step to Sonic. Yeah. Go step to Step. Brrr. That was like a Brooklyn anthem back in like the late 80s. Yo, man. Go Brooklyn. Can I ask you something Brooklyn. about Brooklyn though? Like, 
Did like, they all were they always so deep because they just they were going into like another borough? Nah, so they had know, to go deep. Brooklyn was was that's what we used to say about Queens motherfuckers. And I'm and I'm from I was actually born in Brooklyn. So yeah. being in Brooklyn was uh was, was a different animal. Gang shit was serious. Yeah. At that time. So like that for real Autobots and Decepticon shit like that shit was for real. So like, did you grow up in that shit? Um, I want to talk to somebody. I was who hanging knows about out, man. He was I was hanging out, was hanging out at the time with 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 situations, but the the dope oh. shit with Brooklyn. Brooklyn always rolled. Yeah, your man deep. is nodding in the back about the Decepticon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it was <laughs> like it they, was. Yo, they gotta have a movie serious, or a documentary man. about yeah, the Decepticon. Yeah, because we don't know anything. Like, no one talks yeah, about like, that shit because it was. But see, and that's the whole shit. It was like, as they call it, snitching and telling on people. And like, it was an undisclosed thing. Like, you wouldn't get pictures of gangs just posing and because you would be seen. So yeah. Yeah. they wasn't allowing wow. that. It was Crib, just like. Cribs and Bloods didn't give a fuck. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they were posing up for the other It like, got you, public. You didn't hear about it in the news enough. You just, yeah, knew, it was just like, knew about it in the news. Gang violence, but you didn't know who it was. Right. Yeah, I know. That was the, all only, was. the only East Coast gangs I would know is Lion, uh, Lion Kings. Lion Kings was yeah. definitely the BX. Hard body. Yeah. Hard MS, 18, Street, but stuff like that. But when until I met Cricket, I knew about the Decepticon. Yeah, like the shit was like some other shit. And then it was like, you know, like you had to like going to Skate Key in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. So if you went to Skate Key, um, the cats from Brooklyn, like we used to take, it was a parking garage. Have any of y'all been to Skate Key before? No. Uh, One time. Okay, so you know the parking lot, right? Mm -hmm. So I know the neighborhood too, yeah. Right, so Skate Key was there. The parking lot was here. So everybody would have guns. Like, it was so ill up there, but you had to be there because it was just a dope it was just you know who was dope. always there, Fat Joe. Yeah, Joe was Joe always up there. Yeah, Fat oh Joe, my BS. god. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And yes. like guns would be placed away. They would put it behind the bricks. And then it was like when it was time to go home, everybody got on the two train to go downtown. So everybody who needed to go to Manhattan had to go to Manhattan. Everybody who went to Manhattan had to go to Brooklyn. So it was like cats was waiting for the jury. And yep. the money and your sneakers and all the other shit that you was, you know, yeah. thought you was going home with, you wasn't going <laughs> home with <laughs> that. <laughs> you know what I'm so it was it was it's funny, it was fucked up, but it was a great time because it was like you either had to know somebody to be protected at that time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it was a lot of shit that was going on. Even that he had to go deep, yeah, rolling deep with whoever you. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I feel like when like all the dope parties were in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. So yeah. anyone from Queens or Brooklyn, they're not gonna roll like too deep. Yeah, nah, but they, they're, they're nah, gonna roll deep. To, they roll deep. They that's was what I'm 20, saying. They, that's what that. That's what the squad was twenty deep. That's what yeah. shit like that oh, came okay. from. Yeah, yeah, like it was squads that was coming. But that's out what I'm like saying. That. But if that's but but that's why Harlem motherfuckers, I feel like they wouldn't roll that deep because they're like we nah, right Harlem, next door. You know what it was? We Harlem. Right door, we right? we the connection was dope. So we were cool with everybody because we wasn't trying to fight. Harlem wanted the girls. We just wanted the chicks. We just yeah. wanted to fly be fly and just be flashy and chill and you know yeah. and talk shit and drink champagne. Right. That was it. That was the mold. Damn, that's they're that's like right. ghetto fabulous over there. Kind of, sort of, but in a in a that's in a greater saying. way because yeah, a lot dope. of people, people was getting money too. So the money was just yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Those the Brooklyn, them Brooklyn stick up kids and the stick up kids was ready. <laughs> like they was like, oh, well, you got that chain on, son. <laughs> <laughs> with the Yo, black, son, with the black got hoodie in the, in the yeah. corner, just watching. Yeah, the like, yeah. Carhartts was serious because it was big jaggers, the big Carhartt jeans, and the and the tall Tims. And they used to, you know, they used to tuck their boots. And yeah. yeah, it was it was it was fun, man. That's crazy. That whole fucking time was fun, man. Or, <laughs> it was scary, but it was fun. <laughs> it was great, dangerous but fun. I'm gonna need a list of like some of the Harlem the Harlem hits right now that that yeah. are popping right now because oh, I I want to know. I gotta get. See, I don't know. I don't know what's possible. It's like nobody, no one knows what the fuck's they going not, on over there. And, and, like and, and nobody from home told you either, right? No. See that? <laughs> they'll, like, they'll, they'll, I'll see it in their stories and I'll be like, yo, yeah. what's that? And they'll be and like, like, don't, don't, like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And you then they try to shazam it and you can't get it. Or they'll yeah. say some fucked up shit like, that won't work in Vegas. You yeah, we just was <laughs> on. It's not working in West Coast. We were just on a lot of um just remixing a lot of stuff. And and like I said, because it was so many DJs, you had to find something for yourself to stand out. Right. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah, like Blind. Blind was a guy who would take records and make his own shit yeah. and go to the party and play them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was the same way. There were other guys, you know, that were in that room. So even if you heard a version, I might have another version of that. Right. So it was like everybody was just their own signature. You know what I'm saying? Of but DJs, I, I see so. y'all dropping shit. Yeah. And y'all yeah. flexing on people. Absolutely. And everyone's like, I need that. Absolutely. And you're like, all right, we get you. And, we, yeah. and then it's over. Like, it. It's yeah. like we're questing a song to <laughs> <the> DJ. <laughs> yeah, 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 one yeah, second, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get that record. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, you can't I, I, saw, I, saw, I saw a video of Mel doing like a. He did. I, I can't believe it. Where are these block parties that you keep doing? I didn't know they have the. You doing yeah, like a block party like every week I, in the summer? Yeah, I was. And I'm like, like Mel, kick Melly Mel is over Mel. there. <laughs> Y'all hanging out? Where was this? It's everywhere. Yeah, it's, I don't like, know where the fuck. And I'm um, like, yo, what is he? Yeah, one of them this is actually. <laughs> is that a Ted Smooth thing? Shouts out to Ted Smooth. So oh, Ted Smooth has the old school jams oh, every I've, year. I've heard about that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just be crazy, okay, man. Yeah, yeah so but every, every weekend every, you're doing we something. would do it. Yeah, so it was like I would go there, then I would go to Brooklyn. My man, JC Jace. Had one out there. Um, I know they do one in the um, Corona Park in the yeah in the Bronx. Katona Park. Katona Park. Um, exactly, yeah. uh, Christy had hers. Um, Kaz so, so last year. That's who that was. So that just was every weekend, Kaz. someone different having always a block something party going on every it's all summer. Like, are they charging at the door? Nah, it's just outside. It's all free, open venue. So Katona Park would be one. Um, we were, the other one was Diggers Delight. The other one will be downtown. Also, are, they, are these it's, motherfuckers making money? Are they selling liquor? Um, like, what are I, they doing? Nah, I, I don't. It just, just I, for the love. I, wanna, for the love? I would love to say for the culture. They may probably get okay, you know, yeah. money or something. I mean, there's nothing wrong but, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, if yeah, it yeah. is, I don't really know, but... Yeah, like, but it's yeah. like for like it's like more older heads that's going to these. Yeah, um, park, like it, it's the classic park move, man. Yeah. You know, coming outside, you know, that whole back in the day being exactly, in the Bronx, yeah. yeah, doing that flash, you yeah. know, representing that and and cool Herc and and theater. Like these guys are still active, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like it's cool for me to go. I, I'm just going to hang out, but I, you know, eventually, you know, get on a set with these guys. But it's like most of the time for me, I'm just I'm at all just being around that type of situation for me man so like, he'll, he'll be spinning he'll drop some like uh i don't know some new jackson five version that he made where it starts <laughs> with an acapella and some and then some piano keys start building up yeah and then kick a pre run over and be like what is that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> everyone's just looking like what is that i need that i need yeah, that and he's like, like yeah yeah i got you i got you, <laughs> you, <laughs> I got you. it comes through that you know? um but that's that's like your flex over no, there that's what no, you're yeah. y'all doing shouts that shouts out to my father rest in peace yeah. so um. So my father was a ghostwriter. Yeah, for for a lot of people. Um, to like a hip hop to no, a no. situation where it was um like sworn to secrecy. Oh, so sure. like literally like on paper, you could never ever 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 ever. This is like R and B groups like in the seventies. A, a little 80s. yeah yeah. Yeah, you 70s, can't mention 80s, any, can't but mention this is like hits. hits that we know. Though. But hits, it's These shit you know. Them. It's shit you so definitely. Is, so is that why you are saying you have some of the stems and acapellas? That's why everybody's like wondering, like, where the fuck is he getting? <laughs> wow, all the shit from. So yeah, a lot That's of wow. a lot of the stuff that I because it's I, clean. It doesn't yeah, sound it's, like it's pulled from the. Oh no, it's I gotta find it. I gotta hear his edits and be like, oh, well, let's one, put some stuff together. One of the first times Mel played it on the record when he was he was doing the backyard. Uh, that was when we lo- launched Local Wednesdays with Naughty by Nature. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and after they performed, you know, Tretch was just kind of roaming around and he made his way to the backyard and Mel just waited and yeah. he sees Tretch and he just like drops like the OPP acapella. <laughs> and, he sees, and I was only on the bus yeah. with him. Tretch is like, what the fuck is going on? the fuck did you get this? Like, yeah, was, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> and then like Premier comes in early uh, before his date on, I think, January 19th of 19. Yeah. And I never met him before, but I went right up to him and I said, oh, you came in early. He's like, who the fuck's DJ? I said, Mel Starr. He's like, I thought so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, was just, he was just <laughs> playing <laughs> shit <laughs> like you've never heard it before. Yeah, so you I heard was, some of it last night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, man. Crazy. But that's what I'm saying. Like, Do you do that shit on purpose when you see them the a time, little bit? Just every, fuck with them. Right? Oh, Neville's here? One every sec. second I get it. Because you want them to, like, they'll be talking to somebody and then they'll stop talking. They'll start looking at Every second. They'll start listening to the speaker. That's so funny. I love how they shoot that. They start looking at the speakers like, the speaker on the table. And, they, and you do. see the motherfuckers like moving they towards the table. And I'm like, I see him coming and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Please don't be upset. Just come and be like, where you get you that from? What is that hot? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But nah, I, that was 
my most important thing. That was like that was my signature as far as like just playing yeah. a lot of um you know new remixes or things that I that I you know. And if if some of y'all don't know what we're talking about, obviously go to uh Mel's Mel's um Instagram, right? Because yeah. sometimes you post I do post the, these remixes I do. and you flaunt it in people's faces even more. <laughs> Cuz the comments the comments would be like I need that. I yeah. need that. How can I get that? I need yeah. that. And it's, he doesn't respond to any of them. You never posted it. You never story. posted it. Yeah. story. <laughs> and it's at, at, at GJ Mel Star. Yeah, with two yeah. R's at the I ain't going to front. Like, I be hearing yeah, that shit. I be like, like I want to hit him up. I'm like, I don't really know him that well. I ain't going to do Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to really GM up. I ain't going to GM up like that. <laughs> well, wait till you get that. 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 Wait like and like vault? yeah like a vault yeah like in a I hard do. drive <laughs> i really like do there's copies yeah. of copies of this shit yeah i actually do um like i said um again rest in peace to my father like it was it was all willed over so when it came over i was like what the fuck is all this shit here yeah and when i like opened it i was like oh but did you know before he passed about what he was doing? No, that oh, was the, uh, so that so was the crazy talk about so it's kind of like I mean, if you saw a purple like, vein, remember in the end of purple vein, right? But Prince found all that music that his father had hidden. That's exactly. <laughs> that's that's exactly, exactly the star. Like, oh my god, like that is exactly <laughs> what happened. <laughs> but growing up, did you know your dad was doing music? Now we would right, we would um, we were um, so what was the group? So okay, you can't say it. <laughs> there, well, I know. At well, there's an album that he has that I know of. Um, and the members of the group was um, Strafe was one of part of the members. Uh, was Slave was part. Mm. Oh wow! Um, Don't tell me your father's vote. Um, just a touch of love. Shannon. <laughs> 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 nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but off the mic, he might tell you. <laughs> yeah. So it was like. I've been around it. Like, I've been around, like, a lot of people. Wow, yeah. You know what I mean? Lilo and, yeah. What, I, what, I, what did you find? Yeah, how um, did you find Was it like, tapes? Was it cassette yeah, tapes? Was it, like was it a box? It was, it was, it was, was this. It two-inch reels? Lawyer it? came. Sneaker, sneaker box? Lawyer came and was like, hey, we have some stuff that we need to give you. And that's basically how it happened. And wow. it was, like, about three boxes. Um, a lot of tapes. A lot of ADATs, a lot of DATs, a lot of cassettes. Oh wow! Um, yeah, it was. How long did it take to go through it? I, bro, I haven't even. You haven't even oh, scratched wow. the surface, man. Holy like, shit! Bro, and this is the shit well, that he barely like, got to. I ain't even. That's so a, even the stuff that's that I'm a, playing. What an inheritance, right? And then oh, also, yeah, wow. Mel, Mel, you recently started another sa- a SoundCloud page. That yeah, you started yeah, posting so a lot of these DJ mixes. <laughs> yeah, so amazing. Even, yeah. Even the SoundCloud stuff was like really weird too because um, I started posting like real, like super classic Grandmaster Flash, Grandmaster Flash, yeah, Flowers, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. um, yeah. tapes of just just posting them and just putting them online and yeah, it was it's it's crazy. Yeah, like it's it's you. way beyond what I've ever imagined. I love it because. I, I would be listening to some of there was one of the one of the flowers mixes that you posted. I just I was trying to Shazam. I everything. never heard and this is your flower mix. How was he was it? playing yeah. some shit that I got a couple of tapes. It was crazy. like yeah, it sounded it like house, but it was before house, but it yeah. wasn't disco, it, it was wasn't right. house. And it was just like what the fuck and I'm that, trying to Shazam wow. it. But it was bittersweet. I was pissed that I couldn't Shazam it, but it was like it brought you back to a place where sometimes you just can't get shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know? Oh, yeah. Exactly. You, yeah. When you go to a club and you hear something, you sometimes you just can't get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's not accessible. And that 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 kind of I love that. I yeah, love that. That makes Definitely, the song man, even I love it. No doubt. And I and that was really what I wanted to do. Like I wanted to like just kind of just push out the shit that we couldn't either get or find mm-hmm. or just Make you remember those moments and those times, like yo, where the hell did he get that from? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, I, that's really what my whole purpose was. It's such a weird time because remember, because now you can get every song that you want. Yeah. The DJ's Fast. pretty much playing every anything yeah. that anything that the DJ's playing. You can get somehow. Yeah. Right. It's, but but, but I mean, also remember, yeah. and this is key. There's um, the world of music, like recorded or like just like Apple and all of those things. They only have like. 
Seventeen percent. Yeah, they mm-hmm. don't have everything. That's it. Like online. so, yeah. they yeah. don't really have anything. It's such a different feeling though. Back in the day, when you would hear a DJ and they would play like an extended mix of mm-hmm. something. That's what made Larry yeah. Levan who he was. And you're, like, the, yeah. Yeah. and you're like, holy shit! Like, what is what is this? Like, what yeah. version is this? And then you'd the, either buy the maxi yeah. single or you'd have and to it buy wasn't the record. On the yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you, it was one yeah. of those great things. And it, and all, it's almost a thing where. It became a staple. You like, I want to go hear this motherfucker again because he. I know he's yeah. gonna play that. That's yeah. what you used to go to a yeah. DJ because yeah. they had certain records that either nobody had or the yeah. general public will never and have. They were the first to, to have it. So yeah. they were like, yeah, holy right, shit, right. it's a new joint. Like, yeah. yo, and and yeah. that's what made house music special. Yeah. That's what made it special yeah. because it was like records were so hot at one time that they didn't even have time to label them. Yeah, that was the whole reason why like white labels. And acetate, and, and acetate. Yeah. I remember yeah. out this is ten inches with, see, um, with two holes. Yeah, Louis yeah. Vega DJ. Two holes, of course. Louis Vega DJ in Studio Fifty Four, and he would have reels, reels. Yeah, with facts. Um, yeah, songs that I never like new mixes, like a lot of Todd Terry Amazing, remixes yeah. that I've never heard and before. It right yeah. and it still was never available on vinyl. Yeah. A great piece of footage is if if you uh, go on YouTube and you look for uh, the video for New Order Confusion. Uh-huh. It has such amazing footage of the garage and the funhouse. It yeah, has man. it has Arthur yeah. Baker, Arthur Baker basically, the, basically the laying off joints. something on a two inch reel, bringing it to Jelly Bean at the funhouse. Mm-hmm. Wow. Jelly Bean like exactly, yeah, it yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah. Man. Yeah. The footage because mm-hmm. there's not a lot of footage of, of garage or funhouse. Yeah. No, so that video, not fun house. it has yeah. New Order getting patted down, going up the ramp to garage. Oh, it, oh it's a, it's <laughs> it's probably my favorite video, man. Damn, so, man. So. Do you think we're ever gonna get to a point of that again? I think. It can, I think it can. It just somebody got to talk to somebody. I don't know who that somebody is. Because if to it's not, if it's, if, if it's not in the internet, and if it doesn't exist in a digital form, no one cares about it. Almost right. Yeah. Which is you know well, which is if it's not the, trendy. It's not. All of those clubs. Club, yeah. All of those clubs back then, were, like you were saying, were all one. They were RSVP, and you had to be a member. So you couldn't just walk in there because they would be like, you got a camera and you're going to go in there and take a picture and you couldn't come in here. Okay. So mm-hmm. it, I think like situations like that, like we need to have a, a no phone party. Mm-hmm. We need to have shit like that. So that'll make That's people a, yeah. not, you want to fucking come in here and live a moment? This is the place where you need to be. There's a, there's a big infrastructure in in, in that though you need to set up a huge infrastructure to yeah. house people's phones Facts. that's the only problem like coat right. check yeah phone yeah. check yeah. 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 I'll tell you get a disposable <laughs> camera in return just to take you on to you know, you know what the, the, I'm not on Facebook too much anymore but when I I am now because somebody started a group called Classics yeah, yeah. and it's all primarily New York City nightlife from the 90s and early yeah. 2000s mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there wasn't a lot of phones especially in the yeah. like early yeah. 90s but what, whatever is posted and shared, whether it's a flyer from a v, a, an event or a picture, it's so it it, it the basically the the scene the group has been around for about two and a half weeks. They have about over sixteen thousand members already. Wow! Wow! Just people reminiscing. It just yeah. brings. Is this similar to um, New York City clothes? That's another um, club, club NYC. Well, club NYC. Club NYC. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like club yeah. Planet. Club NYC. Yeah. It's basically one, yeah. a reunion of all that. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's like Stone. all over again, That's like the Stone. message boards. And That's you used Stone. to get home, come home from the Sound Factory at Twilo. Everybody would be on the message boards. What's this track ID? So and DJ so and so played yeah. it. It sounds like this. And th- so what you're asking is, would we would we ever get back to an era where a time where there's a thrill of the hunt for music, mm-hmm. yeah. like get, like getting your hands on it? I, I don't know. I wish I, I was more hopeful, there. man. I, I think I, it's. Yeah. I really think it's there. I just think it's the. It's just who is the one that's gonna create that mold. You right. know what I mean? Like whoever. And they got to stick to it. Whoever starts that movement. Whoever starts that movement. Well, the promo game has all changed, too. Promos, it's just sign up to a a DJ site, which is great. I mean, obviously, I mean, we're we're all supporters of all that stuff. But, you know, whether it's a record pool, like a a tangible, like vinyl pool or Mm -hmm. something like that, or just the way... Labels would distribute promos. They were very tight. You with had some to stuff. be like working in a club, yeah. Back in the day. And even the record pools. If you were yeah. going to like to do pick pickups, you were in Big Dog. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was in Ricketts. Oh, wow. 
you know, on, let, on the re- what was the one that Judy Wines? Was it uh, uh, oh. for the record? I think it was for the record. For the record, mm-hmm. there yeah. was a there was a tr- there was a pecking order. So mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. for the record, I mean, Frankie Knuckles, Satoshi Tomi, you know, all, all David Morales, the they're first, getting first pick. It was the first twenty five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah. maybe I, you I, got I, one. A pat on the back. Yeah, there was one left know. behind. Yeah. Like, you yeah. got one. Yeah, I got this one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 got one copy. Yep. Yeah, that's a. Fact. We used to go to stri- every Friday. Would be like when new shit. We would hit the you record labels. The offices, you know, yeah, go, you go to Nervous, go to Strictly, yeah. go to um, um, Profile, Tommy Boy, Def and Jam, shit like that. And Loud Strictly yeah. was the shit. Strictly was great. Strictly was great. I tried to get an internship there. Yo, yeah. Strictly, Strictly was yeah. the shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They they yeah. shit was so they shit was so hot you didn't even have to listen. to You it. don't have to you see you the just label. Just picked it up. Just yeah, buy it. Yeah, it. Yeah, it was yeah. gonna be good. What was on that label? Well, who was on that? Elias, shit. follow Elias. me. Oh wow, Armand Van Helden, Witch Doctor, Love, um, Love Dancing, yeah. Love Dancing, River Ocean, um, yeah. Love and Happiness, River Ocean, shit wow. like that. You know, yeah. I mean, Huge. just. Yeah. Iconic, iconic, uh, probably people. the most iconic la- house music label of all time. That yeah. like new groove, probably exactly, or something like yeah. that or whatever. Shit, man. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Fucking, I mean, I feel like the, it is kind. Of, it could go there, but it it's got to evolve in some way because it you you can't if you don't have proof of it or if you don't have something digitally in the internet or on social media. Don't don't take our, listen. Don't take our ideas for the no phone part. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. our yeah. Shh. TM. Trade <laughs> right here. Live. They're doing it with comedy shows. Yeah. It's well, yeah. only a I mean, matter of time. does it. Yeah. 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 For, they put but it in a bag. It's like you got this fucking camera though. just like. Yeah. Sh- and then they have, yeah. uh, they have security guards just running up and down it's a, the but it's, yeah. a, it's expensive. It's yeah, a, it a process because imagine, I don't know. I mean, you know, a David Chappelle comedy show, how many people there? 3,000? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you mean you're yeah. taking you know, people's purchase. phones at the door? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, they do it at the Bruno Mars show out here. Yeah. They put it in a little neoprene case, yeah. locked it, Imagine. and you can't access it. Yeah. I don't know how I feel because, you know, sometimes there's parents that are... Yeah, if the, if the baby might sit, happen. Right, that, that, that there's a little bit of a gray area, but I get it. Fuck. And then, that. like, Bruno would go, like, he would go into this whole, like, kind of, <laughs> like, ad lib thing. Oh, and he would God. sing this, like, love song. And he goes, because I got your phone. <laughs> yeah. and, the whole pl- and I was like, oh, okay, that was Yo, cool. That was cool. <laughs> like, yeah. the phone, and that's what I'm saying. The phone is like a curse and a gift, man. Like, yeah, you got to check on your kids, but fuck that. Yeah. It's midnight. <laughs> you better be sleep till the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the yeah, fuck yeah. is going on? Like, <laughs> I just need four <laughs> hours away. You know what I'm saying? Like, Not even, like, a show, like, maybe an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> way you know what i'm saying no you still playing house or like, do you need all the time yeah? all the time all the time you do like parties where it's like a house on the low, low 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 yeah, yeah. yeah you don't promote it um nah not really i don't and i put out a lot of mixes too on um different mix name? cloud mix that clouds. i do oh, yeah. so it's like i'm at like five, i think like five million listening wow damn yeah. what is, it? is it on the mail star yeah it's on nice. Star on, um, I'm going to check that out. And they gave me you a select. Platin- you platinum? Are you yeah, more? Yeah, you platinum. platinum on Mixed Cloud. You're five times platinum. He's about to go time. He's about to go time. Mixed Cloud gave you a pack or something? What did it do? Yeah, like I try to, like my biggest thing with internetting and like just recording, I try to really just put shit that everybody, either you don't have, or you want to listen to like i just the regular shit i'm just not i don't want to do that we do that in the clubs all the time yeah. mm-hmm. so it's like where's the other shit at that everybody else want or may want to listen to yeah so that's what i you know i try to do that yeah, yeah. what have you noticed about now you've been coming to vegas what have you noticed about a vegas crowd what's your take on the a crowd vegas is crowd? very different it's definitely different <laughs> i'm not gonna break lie, it down like, break it down um, without losing your gig and shit yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> With the, with the booker right next to you. This portion of the red podcast is sponsored know, by Political Correctness. Political Correctness. Um, <laughs> I love on the record. I yeah, like agents I, I who take over me. Those, hey, hey, Vegas hey, is weird, but on the record, hey, everybody hey, that's ever walked in that club is amazing. Hey, listen. Yeah, amazing Ed, I've been calling your name <laughs> all night last night at the party, <laughs> sir. Oh, so, <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> nah, you know, it's... Um, so it, I guess this is this is now the East Coast West Coast vibe now. Mm-hmm. That's and that's how I'm looking at it. So there, are, um, so like there are certain Jay Z records you can play 
in New York still. In New York still, that you will not be able to and play we'll, out here. I don't even need to play one Jay Z record, right? In, but just in, in you know, but just the, the simple terms of like the what we in yeah. New York are, are just accustomed to, you know, the typical biggies and the, yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, you can play it here, but it's it's not, like you can, not you the can, shit. Not you can play more yeah. Biggie out here than you can Jay Z for you some can. reason. And that's a fact. Yeah. That's weird? a fact. I know. Yeah. That is a fact. Uh, yeah. I was yeah. talking to my boy. He's like, yo, you ain't playing no PSA. Yeah, you ain't PSA. Play. I'm yeah. like, yo, I don't need to play that because yeah. when I play that, so people look at me like, why are you, playing, you playing this shit? <laughs> and I've, you know, and like I said, I, I've been to a lot of different clubs out here and um, I've started to notice like, you know, I was talking about like the intro records and like yeah. how a lot of guys in, like use intros to their records and stuff like that so i i'm starting to see the difference um the bpm in on some of the stuff is a lot different too like where they're playing um some of the records a lot a lot faster mm -hmm. or like you know like i said whatever those intros are yeah or like they use the transition intros yeah, yeah. and stuff like that so i noticed that well yeah i feel like the west coast has always had a lot of like uh, you guys are just fucking upbeat and you just want to keep banging <laughs> that's it well, no, like they've, they've <laughs> always been like all that. the extended mixes, all the transitions, uh -huh. all the like kind of hype intros. Right. That mm -hmm. all came from the West Coast. Yeah. Yeah, that's because like we had yeah. crate was, savers was, and whatever. Like, was we were just very yeah. like, hip hop site started. We yeah. were very yeah. tapped in with radio records. DJs. Right. And radio See, DJs right. were always like those clean blending guys. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And those guys end up doing the parties, and that's just the, that that's became how the it culture. Came. Yeah. Okay. Whereas you guys were more like the mic work. Yeah. The like dropping it like so the party rocking. So it wasn't that. Yeah. The opposite yeah. of trying to, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I would use the mic play with the party as opposed to you guys would have those type of records for the party they, ready. They, they yeah. would they would sample uh, like scoop a, all day. A, a scoop Every, all day. Every little John and with scoop. A, John. Get your hands up. Get, get your hands up. Hands up. Oh, or, yeah, and then yeah. you would just say, get your hands up yeah, on the yeah. mic. DMX, so. scoop, and little John. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You just follow. Like, yeah, get the hands yeah, up. Get your fucking hands up. Just, yeah, yeah. You, hear, you hear what I'm saying? Get the hands up. Yeah. Even when I was in New York, though, I would pay $30 for those lethal weapons. Facts. And, and they ship them over. Facts. And then I would play those, and all the New York motherfuckers would be like, where'd you get that? Right. But yeah, then, then it's funny it. because now with that, our shit like that was the Crooklyn Clans, the right. yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. all of those records. Yeah. So mm -hmm. AP was another one. He yeah. was, mm -hmm. AP, you know, yeah. so those, that was it for right. us. Like, you know, like, Franklin's is still hot in oh New York. God. Like, all of that. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, Everything. That was yeah. a game changer. Yeah. Yeah. Just came out, man. still yeah. hot. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So, New York, yeah. NYC Anthem is still one of my yeah. favorite ones. <laughs> Let me see yeah. those hands. Yeah. All yeah. those yeah. records are yeah. still Crown Motivator. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, still amazing. I, yeah. I mean, be faithful to this day. It's still so right now. Oh, still still right shout right shout now. to Scissor, Scissor Hands. Scissor Hands. Scissor Hands. Scissor 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 and yeah. Fat Man Scoop. Yeah. You know? yeah. And Fat Man Scoop. Y'all are going to squash. You and Scissor Squash. Scoop are going to squash that one. This is my companies. Yo, that fucking episode. Jesus. Oh, my God. Both of those episodes. Those were fun. Those were fun, though. Even though we were. If they can contain the coronavirus, man. Scissor Hands and Scoop. Yo, go get me a mask. Right now, <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's it? Mel Star didn't want to shake my hand. He yeah, was, like, give you a pound. <laughs> I'm telling like, uh, fam, fam, fam. Yo, yo, fam, yo, fam, yo, chill, <laughs> fam. Yo, nah, like, you all right. Good, you good, yeah. He's like, you yo, good. we good, yeah. You all right. Little, you're a little too Asian <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> you look too dangerous for my health. Little dangerous, me. I don't know. Y'all go in the back and give me a mask real quick, yeah. dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> She's getting real. Oh, oh shit! So wait, he still kind of didn't. Well, he kind of broke down the Vegas crowd, right? It's a little yeah. more. It's yeah. a little more. It's, it's cheesy. It's, it's, like a little more commercial, I, right? It's definitely more commercial, right? Which is fine. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I said, that's that's the shit where, where the DJ you have to evolve. Like you can't just walk in yeah, and yeah. just believe like. Which is sometimes when I say like I want to go a little more left and I yeah. can't. I gotta stay. I gotta kind of keep that it in the center. Yeah. 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 Now yeah. I'm I'm freakish with that. Like I I'm not gonna lie. I don't care because I nice. at at certain points. But that's what I'm saying. Like mm -hmm. you know we were talking about as far as like you know crowd control. So once you have the crowd at a certain point, like I said, I played Buddy Buddy Morell last right. night, and everybody was like. What the fuck? <laughs> and then I came back, and they yeah. was like, "Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Now I see why you did that." Mm -hmm. you know see, I always used to wait until like after three. I would be like, "Okay, nah, I'll play everything at three o'clock. Right. If you're still here, 
And now it's my no one, time. No one's here at and three. Well, I'm talking about like light, yeah, yeah. like 2002, 2003. Yeah, and but like, now. Yeah, then yeah, I would yeah. play like loose joints. Is it all yeah. over my face? Uh-huh. And then I have guys like, that's how I met yeah. Bad Boy but Bill. He's like, I can't believe you're playing this right now. I'm like, yeah. yeah, that's me neither. No, that's I'm the thing. Clear. That's the thing. It's <laughs> like, I, I remember the late night after 3 a.m. It was, it was us. It was yeah. for us. It like was for us. That, that's what I was, yeah. Now there is no us because no. like, some of the clubs don't make it till 3. And not yeah. only that, yeah. there's a closer right. who comes right. on. Right. So it's like, where do I get off? Yeah. And then right. you kind of got to find your way. You know, Yeah, you got to find your way now. Yeah. And That's everyone's insane. playing the same shit, so you gotta just honestly. That's the point. Like <laughs> people are like, "Well, what are you gonna you play it different? Your own? What, How do you what songs are you gonna play rep that represent you, right? Yeah. And who you are, or yeah. even the songs that everybody else is playing? How are you gonna play those records, yeah. right? And you, they, to stand out, so you don't sound like gotta everybody create, else. Yeah. Yeah. Create your exactly. own mood, man. Right. Yeah, gotta right. Create your own mood. I'm just gonna, you know, probably yell on the mic louder than the next yeah. other two. <laughs> and then feel more obnoxious. You <laughs> they use a little mama beat underneath everything. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> that just works. <laughs> 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 Yo, they got that. They, they, got, they got Tatiana over that. They got everything yeah, over yeah, that. They over got Saweetie there. over that. They yeah. got everything, man. No doubt. It's <laughs> like a, it's like the little ma rhythm. Yeah, the rhythm. Yeah. So I want I want to go through your some of your accolades and stuff. Like uh-huh. you you've been on tour with Usher, Ludacris, Busta Rhymes, yeah. Jay Z, Nerd, Wale. Jada Kiss, Rihanna, Kanye West. Cole Are you making some of this shit up or no? <laughs> 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 you know when we do it like our when we do like our bios. Yeah, be like, like, oh, I'm throwing it. Yeah, I'm throwing it. Everybody on yeah, this yeah, shit. They was at the club that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played a song for them. Yeah. I'm gonna put that yeah, in I'm my bio. Yeah, I play one record <laughs> song. He's just there. You know what? I get a party. I get a DJ. He's taking his shit in the club. That I worked at one. He came and I played his record. It was yeah. I just yeah. <laughs> I was his DJ for yeah, that right for yeah. that time. For that time. So what happened? Yeah. Jay Z walked in. He tapped me on the shoulder and he said, "Oh, I think I'm in the wrong room." Yeah. <laughs> I DJ for him for a bit. Yo, that oh. was even that. Like I even so I did the Blueprint Three tour. Yeah. So basically, with that tour, I did all of the after parties. So it was like shit. I don't even know how many. It was like thirty something cities. For yeah, it was yeah. some shit like that, and then there was the international side of was it. Was that as even well. fun or nerve wracking? That shit was crazy. Yeah, that's how I met J Cole. That's when they all like just was starting. This yeah. Yeah. Cole, yeah, Cole was opening up they for Jay Z. They were all for that just starting, so I was able to, you know, what I'm saying, rock out with all of those guys, and that shit was dope, man. That yeah. was a fun that's crazy. time. My man Jay got my man Jay Harrison got me. I thought he was connected. calling Jay Z like my yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was oh, yeah, like my man Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Jay, Jay, you know what I'm close like that? Yeah, right. <laughs> my you man, close like never in sway. Are you that close? So, my man Jay. I, 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 was, I, was, I was never, I was never in sway. I was like, yeah, you know, Jay Cole. Hey, hold on, hold on. He's on my line right now. Hold on, let me get that. But um, I, was, I was speaking with Sean and Jermaine. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know Carter. You know Carter. Carter, right? Yeah. With a C. With a C. With a C. Now my man Sean. You know SC for short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my man um Jay Harrison was the guy who connected me to the um when I did the Usher tour. But like I said, all of those tours, I was so party. Um, I was doing so many parties. Like, mm-hmm. so it was like all of those after parties that these guys were on tour with. I was, I was doing all of them. Mm-hmm. Wow. And um, that's kind of how I got my name signatured into the game as far as. Well, like, how did how did you get that tour? Um, damn, what is his fucking name? Um, oh, you gotta remember his name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's my man Jay. Duvall, Duvall. His Duvall. name was Duvall. Duvall. Like right, um, Lil Duvall? Nah, not Lil Duvall. <laughs> Robert Duvall? <laughs> Robert he's, Duvall. Young, he's young. <laughs> he yeah. Thinks, yeah, yeah, there's an old, older Duvall. Older, older. Duvall. And, um, Duvall. Yeah, so he got me connected, it, um, connected to that. And, um, that's how that shit all happens. He was like, yo, I got something for you. And I was like, really? And then um, who was it? It was my man, me, and this dude named KM. We went out, and it was just like, it was fucking unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I was like, what was the best city? What was the best city? Canada. Mm, of really? Course. Toronto? What part? Which, 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 which um, part? Or just Canada in general? Colum- I, I think Toronto Sun- got it. Calgary? Calgary? Calgary. Alberta? Calgary? Really? Yo. Really? <laughs> There's some cowboy shit out there. Yeah, yo. no, it's, it's, it's a big country. When yeah. I say 
Oh my god! No, but I'm not I'm talking about like the club, the that, party. I feel like you fact, got laid or some shit. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you got. He scored. That yeah. was the one. I feel like nah, nah, nah. I feel like Jay threw you a lob on that, that one. And it was yeah, funny because nah. that was the one that he came to. Jay came awesome. to that party, and I was like, "Oh shit, it's over. It's over." It's, he walked right by me. Like, I was like, "Oh shit!" So there was a segment like every party that I would do. I would do like a full Jay Z set. Yeah. And he sat in the corner and he was like, glasses, shit was dark as, dark as fuck. And he would just sit there like this. And he had the bodyguard and he would just, they no drinking nothing. Just had, I think he had like a bottle of water and he would just sit there. And it was like in my mind, I was like, damn, is he like coming to see if we were just playing his records and then he would just get up? And walk the fuck out. Oh, really? Like, just like that. And he would do that in every space that, you know, if, if he came out to any of the after parties, it was, like, really weird. But, yeah, I had fun, though, what man. Year, what year was that? 2010, when, top of it. Some shit like that. Yeah. It was, like, I went to the 2009. Yeah, 2000. somewhere yeah, around there, yeah. He dropped Blueprint 3 in September 09, and the tour didn't start to the top of, uh, yeah, of uh, 2010. I went yes, to that sir. joint. Nice. Anyway. There's nothing like... In the in the prime of New York hip hop, yeah. there's nothing like hearing a New York crazy. DJ run a Jay Z set. Yo. Can I tell you something? That is, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. When yeah. like, I know there's a lot of DJs it's, all across the world. They're very talented, yeah. but hearing any New York DJ do a Jay Z set in like phenomenal in the prime of New York hip hop was insane. Phenomenal, like next level. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It really was. And um, and I feel like me being on the West Coast. I like I don't remember I don't even I I might be able to do it but I don't I don't think I have the muscle memory. Yeah, that I could still do that. You man. Could do I think it? I feel like you could still do it also, man. We seen I, I think Cipher did one at when we're in LA at that one little ass club. Yeah. yeah, and he did like an East Coast little run, and then he did a Jay Z run. I was like, shit. Yeah, yeah. he got a lot like, who's of your, fucking who's that, uh, records. Who's your, uh, was it who's your chick or who's that chick? Yeah, that's your Who chick. Who you with? Is that mm. is that your chick? Oh, that's right. your chick. Sorry. And then he did that. I'm like fuck. And then he just yeah. went through all them shit. I'm like, nah, yeah, it's different. Yeah, LA motherfuckers don't know shit. And then just playing the records that we haven't heard, you know, like feeling it. Yeah, yeah. where I'm from and oh, stuff well, like fine. that. Yeah. It's crazy though that these these kids aren't into that Jay Z era. Some know, of them, yeah. some a of them are on the West Coast in New York. They're probably in it. They're probably in it. I feel like the next generation will. Yeah, they're gonna appreciate so. it a lot, yeah, a lot more than 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 they did. Yeah, yeah. maybe because it, I it's, think I'm the last generation that likes Jay Z. I think I feel like there's a well, gap. It's only a few. I think the problem is that that a lot of the young motherfuckers just see him as the businessman. Now. Yeah, yeah, that too. And then they they weren't he's around. Not active but it, in the he has actually Jay Z haven't really been the same. Like oh yeah, since like. Yeah. Black album yeah. era, but, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But so. I mean, even I mean, that's when I was listening to all that shit. So that's what I'm saying. I think I'm the last generation that appreciates Jay Z music for what yeah. it is, and not just the business side of it. Mm -hmm. And because I don't, I've never met somebody like a 26 or 25 year old that was like, "Yo, Jay Z's the best rapper." And to me, because yeah. they know that they, they Jay Z, they know the one um, New York Jay Z, yeah. Yeah. The Empire State of Mind. Yeah. Yeah. State of I'm like, like that shit was whack. <laughs> Yeah, but it wasn't yeah. whack. It wasn't I didn't but like it wasn't the same Jay Z. Bite your tongue, young man. That person, chill, son. One to the next. <laughs> that, uh, we off that. Like I, yeah. I wasn't the biggest fan of Blueprint Three. I like DOA, but yeah, yeah. But again, but when he did Kingdom Come, I fuck with it. I bought it. He did uh, American Gangster. I still bought that. But it's different. It's a different, it's, yeah. different side of Jay Z now. It was I a don't different know era. What, what it is? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think I'm the last. Era that we'll appreciate a Dipset, we'll appreciate a G Unit, we'll appreciate a Jay Z and a Rockefeller because you Seagull. caught Jay Z at his prime. That's, that's what, yeah. what it was. Yeah. Blueprint, yeah. At the top Blueprint of one was yeah. Yeah. like I remember when I bought that shit. Shit, yeah. even yeah. Best of Both Worlds was fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 that album was great. <laughs> just the album, just albums. Albums. <laughs> most of those albums <laughs> was great. Not the tour, but most of those albums. There was no tour. There was no. I actually went. I went to the 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 Garden. Yeah, the Garden one. Yeah, the fight happened. 
oh no no that was the week that we had the saturday i think i don't know what day it was but it was the, the first day that r kelly pulled out of the tour mm-hmm. and right then, after and yeah, right yeah. after yeah pulled out so we literally were going to the show like yo this is gonna be whack and i probably said this on this on podcast before but fuck it i'm gonna say it again we were at the show we're like oh man r kelly's not gonna be here and all of a sudden, Jay Z brought out Usher. Mm-hmm. He brought out Beyonce. Wow. He brought out Mary Busta. J. Blige, right? He brought out Mary J. Blige. He brought, he brought out Raekwon and mm-hmm. Tony. St- and but a Fatsy, Body Fatsy, yeah. Foxy, and, then, yeah. And, then, and then the illest was when um that this was when <clears throat> Drop It Like It's Hot. Snoop Dogg was like the biggest record. Oh, yeah. And Snoop came out and did Drop It Like It's Hot. Wow. And it was like it was the best show I've ever seen. And mm-hmm. Raekwon out of nowhere came out and did Incarcerated Scarfaces. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. wow. It was so I was like we were like yo that was the best That's show true. ever so everyone was yeah. like man the best of both worlds that tour sucked I was like nah man that shit was it's tight crazy. yeah it was tight when he <laughs> fucking yeah, Kelly left <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and I was like yo that shit was tight yeah but I, I probably never will witness anything like that ever again yeah. nah. Bust, Busta Rhymes Busta, I never, oh my god Busta came out and he did a show he killed it <laughs> it was that before and Touch like, It or after that was before Touch It was probably before Touch It Busta was before Touch It yeah Busta was like. Oh, it was crazy. He still had dreads. Yeah, when he did I don't know. that, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, probably, but he was yeah, like, he was like, every, he's like, turn down the lights, turn down the yeah. lights. Remember when y'all used to be in the Pathfinder or the MPV? Oh, or he was like, man. used to be in the SUV, and used to, and your man used to put in the tape, and he used to be like, yo, play that shit, and play that shit. Like and I used to go like, do 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 do, and then you heard incarcerated scar faces yeah. go off, and then Ray Kwan and then came out, and we were like, we were like, oh. Oh my God. <laughs> MSG, that's nasty. Yeah, wow. that's Everyone crazy. went the fuck off. And we were like, yo, that's crazy. Amazing. As you wearing a Jay Z yeah. tour shirt by accident today. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, so how did you link up with your man? Oh, oh, Obama. Sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, my man Obama. So, what ha- happened you know, was. Like, explain this. What is, yeah, what's the premise of this shit? So, I got a call. Actually, and this, this is crazy. So, I did that party. With Grandmaster D. Oh wow! How about that what, shit? Wait, this is President Obama? Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I'm, oh, I'm, it's oh 44, yeah. bro. Get it together. Yeah. <laughs> this right, is man. Yeah, this is new to me. I don't even know. Yeah, see, this is a lot from of from shit. Yeah, Houdini? Grandmaster D from Houdini. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it was an inaugural um, celebration. It was an inaugural. Yeah. That shit was. Oh this my is god. Nice. Wow. Man. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> We need to do a documentary on <laughs> Real Stars Life. Like that's what I'm saying. Like it's and it's it's crazy because I've done so much stuff that I if if you wouldn't have told me or asked me about it, I'd be like, oh shit, yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. It was me and Grandmaster D and we did that um party. It was a party too. That shit was crazy. Wow. What was uh, Obama Cinnamon was there. Um that's how what I didn't know. I didn't I didn't understand it, but we had to get like all these clearance and all type of shit. They had to look us up and run the, the background. Your background. <laughs> You're not a felon. Like it was, it was crazy. So we did a whole bunch of shit. We got all that together, and um, yeah. And me and that was my guy at, at one point. Did Any you requests from him? Huh? Any requests uh, nah, from uh, man, nah, from the first lady? Nah, uh, nah, could, nah. could you please all play all? Well, <laughs> this, <laughs> it was <laughs> funny. I think they like, oh, oh, shit was they shit was house music. House they music, just fucking yeah. loved Chicago. Oh, Marshall yeah. Jefferson, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, shit. Chicago. from Chicago. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was the shit I didn't know, and I was like, oh, what? Do you want to? Oh. Yeah, when Frankie Knuckles passed, he, he wrote this yeah. whole that like, was, like you know, yeah, yeah, saying Frankie Knuckles was part of. Yeah, music part of his life. Yeah, think of that. There's, there's really no mention of that sometimes. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. yeah. She about Obama dope, in the house. Dope. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Yeah. Really dope. That's really crazy. Dope. Did you get a picture? No, man. It was on, too man. much on, shit man. going uh, on, on, man. man. <laughs> It was just yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like then it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Yeah. 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 I mean, my mom. We got. I mean, we got. You know, it was obviously it was footage yeah. of it. And I, I, one day I, I, when I get a moment, I'm gonna probably go online and you gotta you know, find some it. Shit. Yo, I can't that relate because I I did the Democratic convention out here. I want to say two years ago, and yeah. Obama came and spoke. Yo, when I tell and you, people it, are like, "Yo, did you get a pig?" I'm like, "You don't understand." Like it was so much shit, shit going, going on. on. Like there's like canine dogs there's everywhere. Like, the Secret Service, guns, just so much shit around him. He's like a for real rock star. It was sticking like, out of the guy's almost, shirt yeah. like this. No the shit is like a fucking Uzi something, and it's That's just like you gotta be like Obama. 
Yo, 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 Mm. Oh, See, I'm telling you, I, yeah, it was just, it was yeah, a lot. She, man, did so yeah. she performed. I sure, sure. Stop feeling it. yourself. Stop feeling yourself. <laughs> 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 Come back to Harlem. <laughs> He's G'd up right now. He's G'd up. You with me too, man. I said, I'm, I'm telling you. He's like, like oh, yeah, Rihanna. I was like, oh, you had a brush shit. with Andrew yeah. Yang. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Riri yeah, was yeah. I'm telling you, man. Like, it was, <laughs> that's, yo, Riri was, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's how the coronavirus got here. That's so much. I yeah. know, Riri. That's how much shit I did, man. Like That's I did crazy. a lot of shit. It's man. still going. I mean, you know, you're not done yet, man. Yeah, right? I'm. I'm, yeah. I'm a work in progress, so I don't even. I love that. I'm not even near my potential at yeah. all. At I like all. it. He's g'd up right now. I, I don't even want to go through the don't rest finish. of the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Skip my questions. <laughs> <that I wrote laughs> like, he's like a wedding cake right now. Yeah, oh, he's up there. He's up there. That's all. Three different layers. A <laughs> lot of dope yeah. stories, man. A lot of stories. It's too man. many layers right now. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. You, you also did on Master of the Mits season yes. two. Yes. I didn't know that. And yeah, I was in that. Yeah. Wow, me, who was it? Me, Yanni, Superstar. Who won that year? DJ P. DJ P. Oh, The vinyl purist. Yeah. Don't, oh, hey, don't get that twisted. <laughs> he is the vinyl purist. Yeah, 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 yeah. He probably played. still on vinyl. He probably yeah, is. He, he probably is. He's, he's a good dude. Shouts out to Pete, though. Yeah, yeah Pete's cool. What was that process like doing Master of the Mix? Um, that was when I quit my job. And I was like, because, you know, they with that, it was a tour. So they had to, we had to go on tour, get on tour bus and all that stuff and run to a bunch of cities. Um, So I was like, this might or should be my mark. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, and I took it. I took it, and um, it was dope. It was, it was, it was um, a lot of guys, a lot of uh, DJs, a, a lot of DJs, a lot of attitudes, a lot of um, egos, a lot of egos. <laughs> this was in Miami, right? Uh, yeah. You know, it's funny. Yeah, I, I auditioned in Miami because I couldn't get to the city. I was already out in Miami, so I went to Miami mm-hmm. and I did the audition. And um, yeah, shouts out to Kid Capri. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. Mars was, was there. Yeah. Um, yeah, he was a judge. Um, mm-hmm. Victor, Victor Duplay. Oh wow, um, yeah. that was the one where Amber Rose was on it. Shouts out Amber Rose as well. And um, hey, what, Irie, what, Irie was a guest judge too, right? Yes, he yeah. was. He was. What did you get out of that? Was was um, it just today? Was, yeah, today. I got what I got out of all of this is today. Do you think that was the push that you needed to leave your job? Absolutely. Yeah, because I was in corporate. I was making real good fucking money, and I was good. Like You're good. Crazy. Good. <laughs> he was good. And then 401k was snapping. They was paying that shit. It was 100%. It was on a dollar, dollar for dollar. Oh. <laughs> Is this the same job you had? Jesus. Shit. Oh, like, so you want to play about that? Man, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's <laughs> that guy got that shit. Like, oh. But you remember the bitches fucking back in that. Yo. But I, no, it was, but it was, it was definitely, I had, this was an opportunity, and I was like, "Okay, the DJing was was in a great demand because you know, even w- being in New York, see, that was the other thing that we did. If we weren't doing any clubs, we were doing uh, ski trips, we were doing crab fests, and right. all that stuff. So it was like mm-hmm. we always had shit going on yeah. Yeah. all the way around 360. Every you know, and um, you know, I did a lot of that, and then the DJing became more of a demand." Mm-hmm. So when the show came about, you know, I had a cool ass boss, you know, and, and my my old boss was like, "Yo, I know you want to go, you gotta go. I'm firing you, so go." Damn, you got the severance package. That too, my man. Oh, wow. <laughs> my man, he looked out for you. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he gave me a high five. High five. <laughs> And he it's was like, no. Coronavirus. Yeah, hold on. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. Hold on, hold on. Don't touch your face. Hold on, hold on. And, um, yeah, so he let me go, and, and he let me go, and, and I, that was it. And then that wow. was the reason I said, you know what? I have to, this is going to be it for me. I, I love hearing stories of 
nine to five motherfuckers or uh, motherfuckers who have like a uh, like who have like a job yeah and i want to know what pushed them to yeah. go forward with their career because it's not easy it's like that shit is hard you, you gotta have a real yeah. Yeah. You you leap of faith. Yeah. 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 Big leap of faith. it's different now though yeah, it is. the way mo- the way the the uh, a lot of djs approach it it's almost like they walk into being a DJ now. Yeah, yeah. But back then, right. it's like you. Yeah. Right. It was. Like it, it was always just like yeah. a side hustle, but your yeah. bread and butter was one thing, yeah. and the DJing, yeah, you so pick up cool. some scratch, but I it was mean, a pad. But, just, but was, just telling yeah. someone you were a DJ just sounded crazy. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, like how do how, how do you making a living? Like, yeah, because yeah. I was telling somebody yeah. that you're it not was, a DJ sounds right. crazy. And it, and it, <laughs> and it wasn't. It's great. And when it I quit my job, I remember my parents was pissed off at me. He was like, yeah. "Why did you quit your job?" I remember how about health were, insurance. You were working for the city. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd pick you up. It yeah, yeah, wasn't the Hamptons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it wasn't. I was, it wasn't respected. That's why. It, it wasn't, wasn't respected norm, enough. It, it wasn't part of the mold. It wasn't though. a part. And I kind of get it. I get it why it wasn't respected too. Because yeah. I mean, it wasn't the mo- it wasn't the, money the same was money. I mean, electronic people were making some money. Yeah. When yeah, I heard yeah. what Paul Oakenfold was making, uh, you know, even in 1997 or something, yeah. fifteen thousand yeah. dollars. Like, what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The yeah. DJ, yeah. Like, yeah. that's insane. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Even like my the first DJ I booked was, was Bobby Condors in, in, at Fairleigh Dickinson, mm-hmm. and I was like, I, I remember I paged him or I called the studio. How much you want? He's like, oh, like fifteen. I'm like, I don't know, like fifteen hundred. Even that was like fifteen hundred dollars. Like I was made more than like two hundred dollars <laughs> a DJ. Yeah, fifteen hundred dollars, really, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But see, and that was the thing too. Like, if you if you had like a decent name at the time, like you could make good money. Yeah, it was good. Like you know, like at the time, like ski trips was like twenty five hundred for the mm-hmm. weekend. It's not bad. Um, what was it? Uh, the craft festival was probably maybe a little more because it was summer. But those was like so. like maybe twice, once or twice a year, right? Like, well, not really because see, New York had promoters. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you know what? You're right. So mm-hmm. there were. It's just, meant, several it's just a certain season that promos. you had the bus rides. Yeah, too. so you had you you could do like shit four ski trips mm-hmm. yeah. in a in a you month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do four of them, and that's how you know. My name started with that, and you know the clubs. Like I've I've done every club in New York City except the tunnel. Wow, that's wow. the only shit I didn't do. But Flex had that shit on smash. Him, rest in peace with Cap. They had yeah. that shit on. Sw- oh my god! Well, even in the like not even swollen, in the swollen. library was still like downstairs was yeah. still amazing to us. But yeah, yeah. But that was the only mm-hmm. spot I got to spend at the library. The library, yeah, yeah. dope. Mm-hmm. I did the main room once. I did the main yeah, room. Yeah, you yeah. did. Yep. That was it wow. nerve wracking? It well, considering my only place DJing at the time was Jet Lounge, which was the size of the DJ booth at Tunnel, and I wasn't downstairs. <laughs> I wasn't where Flex would play. I would be up in the main, in that big yeah. DJ booth up in the sky, mm-hmm. and it, it was. And you were playing house though, though. Yeah, 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 like tech, like hard shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got to play there in Limelight and, and Sound Factory one, oh, all once. Oh, nice. Right. That was it. Sounds but of course, I put it on my on my bio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. 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 Played for like an hour. Damn right. I'll tell you. Riri, you can claim the tunnel. No claims, Riri, you can claim the tunnel, buddy. Oh, man. Yeah, as long as I, if I put my record crates down anywhere, <laughs> I was a resident. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ten, ten second rule. If my record crates <laughs> touch the floor of yeah. the club, oh, you were a, a resident. resident. Yeah. yeah, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Joe's pub. Yeah, I was Joe's. Joe's I was there. Yeah. Joe's pub. Smokies. <laughs> Joe's was my man. <laughs> <laughs> Pangea, Safra, yeah, Serafina. I did Serafina's yeah. too. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, wow. Pangea. Wow. I know this. All that. I get, wow. yeah, I get a one time yeah. in there. I think I did. Yeah, there was like a, a couple clubs I only did once, like Sweet Sixteen. Oh wow, mm-hmm. Sweet I did that Sixteen, once. of course. Wow. And it was I like, was oh, a resident you, there. I remember I got a job off you. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I would hand out the CDs, oh, and then my CDs that. they would have a list of the clubs I was at. Oh wow, <laughs> dope. Yeah. So people would be like, "Oh, you was at Sweet Sixteen? I was like, "That was me. That yeah. was me. <laughs> 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 that was me. Well, you know, any crate that touched the floor, I would yeah. 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 use that. That's fucking hot. It's on my resume. If my backpack touches the floor, yeah, I was a resident. There's nothing more entertaining than DJs reading. Of the DJ's bio and just decoding everything. Oh. Yeah, that's bullshit. Like, yeah, okay, right. Like, how did he yeah. do okay, that? How that's did why do I'm that? reading this. He's like shared the stage with such iconic figures. As <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, relax, bro. <laughs> this oh. That's why I'm reading his shit. It was like Usher, Ludacris, Buster Rhymes, N.E.R.D., Wale, Jadakiss, Rihanna, Obama, yeah. Tiger Woods. 
I'm yeah. like, come on, man. God. Yeah, man. Come on. God. <laughs> Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> the Virgin Mary. I did, yeah. I did a bridal shower. I did a bridal shower. Oh, <laughs> baby shower. <laughs> baby shower. <laughs> I did the bridal shower. I did baby like, Jesus. Yeah, yeah he came out of nowhere. The, prom- the promoter's like, hey, did, did the Virgin Mary ever get married? You did a bridal <laughs> oh, shower? Man. Crazy. <laughs> like, never, never happened. Right? Well, baby shower. Gone. She had a falling out with Joe. Oh, man. <laughs> she had a falling out with Joe. <laughs> it was a baby shower. Whose baby shower was that? I did do a baby shower. Oh, you know whose baby shower I did do? Who? I did Ice T's baby shower. Wow. Oh, shit. Yeah. A kid with Coco? No, yeah. who, 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 with Darlene. Darlene's baby shower. Okay. Well, who was the other? Was it other? Darlene or Coco? Darlene or Coco. Uh, dude, I don't remember that. Was it recent? Uh, it was. It was a couple of years ago. It was, uh, it was Coco. Coco. Yeah. It was Coco. Yeah. yeah, so it was in Manhattan. I remember. Shut up, you guys talking? Yeah, because I was like, Coco uh, post. It was definitely Coco. Yeah, Coco. Yeah, I'm I'd be Coco. Coco, I'm I'm like, it's like definitely Coco. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> Coco. <laughs> a couple years ago? No, there's a two different, two of the iced tea errors. Is it like Darlene, Darlene error? error? What is I like, would have been more impressed with Darlene. Dar- yeah, she, she was, was on it. Facebook. I just, <laughs> I just, I was just trolling her Facebook page. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, she held up well. Wait, she didn't She, she was the shorty that was holding the AK-47. Yeah, on the Power album, right? Yeah, yeah. Now I understand why. Now you know why. Yeah. Guys, colors? Oh, CSI. Just like, what is this? The shade room? Like, like, we're talking about like what? We're gonna talk about like the housewives and shit. <laughs> is this Coco? Pre Coco or post Coco? Post Coco. Like what? Like, oh man. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, you know, oh, some more. Nice <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm done with his accolades. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Oh, we gotta do one more. We gotta yeah. do one more. I so. saw that you went to Iraq and Kuwait. Oh, and performed God, for 100 yeah. and, was it 160,000 people? Yeah, That's crazy. troops. Yeah, man. Did you have How a bulletproof vest on? Yes, the fuck I did. Yeah? Yeah, nice, big, thick army joint. Yeah. That's crazy. Pause, Yo, pause, pause, I, yeah, um, pause. Yeah, pardon me, yes. Because I was scared as fuck when I was out there. Like, So, quick story. So, like, you got to fly there, but then you get off. You got to get on, like, some other shit, like another plane, and then... Like I flew on it, and it was at the three hundred, whatever those. Oh, the, I flew in a, a few fly, um, fire, um, fire fire jets. jets. Yeah, I flew in a few of those. He's like, oh my nemesis. <laughs> and um, yeah, I had a great time. I stayed at um, I I was living at my living quarters. Pardon me. When Iraq was um Saddam Hussein's home. Wow! Wow! Well, you were there for what two months? I was there for two months. That shit well, you was were, crazy. You were DJing for the truth for two months. Mm-hmm. I mean, was it a yeah. party or did it they know like, they had a fight? Like, what was going on? Yo, man? See, <laughs> no, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what was it like, doing? That's that's what I'm saying. Like, like, what the fuck? Was there I don't know what was going was on. Was it chicks there? They had girls there. Like they had. Like, like, what the direction were they taking? The these, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like Burning Man or something. Like, what was going on? No sound effects. Drop the flex bomb. Everybody's like, what the fuck? Yeah. So see a bunch of like random CEOs walking around. So basically, um. I went to a few places. So, um, Saudi Arabia, I went to Iraq. I went to this place called Kirkuk, which wasn't even on a fucking map. So, again, there were like a couple of places that I had to get on this weird yeah, plane yeah. and go somewhere else. And then it was the dopest experience I think I've ever had, ever, man. Like, ever. How did, did you go out with? Yeah. Who, who, who was it? Just, oh, matter of fact, I was with, um, it was with Easy Rock. From Rob Ace. So oh, it was wow. me and him. Oh, wow. And rest yeah. in peace. Rest in peace, Easy yeah, Rock. Yeah, Easy Rock. Rest in peace. So me and him, we went out there. And uh, my man, Lord Yoda X, was also part of that. He was a part of, I think, Zulu Nation at the time. And us three, we went out there. Yo, man, when I tell you, there was a man made river. And it had like all these weird fucking exotic fish I've never, ever seen in my life. Uh huh. And then, like, the the bathroom was made of like fucking porcelain and gold. This is Saddam Hussein's house. Yeah. Wow. It, it was, you know, bro. Like, um, like all the trimming, like all this. Was this when he was hiding, like in a fucking? No, this ditch? is right after they killed him, I yeah. believe. Like so literally. Like four or five. Yeah. And um. What's the vibe? I mean, was the yo, was the war over? What was going on? See, there? that's what was weird. What was this because tour? This I was thinking tour. that. <laughs> The we were at war. It was the rap. Yeah, it must have been a wrap up. Like, get me out of here. Give me the fuck. Give me the fuck out of here. Honestly, how did they sell you on that? Two months out there, and that motherfucker. Yo, I I was adventurous <laughs> at the time, and I was like, you know what? Like I think I'm gonna just go. 
Did Fuck you it. think they were serious? Or you think they was joking? I when thought they first they was bullshit. Yeah. Until they the sent che- me the, the deposit. The check must have been good. I know. Yeah, it was like, fuck, I don't know. The <laughs> check. Not the check. The <laughs> check <laughs> was good. It was good. <laughs> the check was good. Two months was amazing. And we was out there for two months. And when I tell you, <laughs> so that was the like, craziest <laughs> shit is the shit that we all see on television is definitely not what we what I was witnessing right. at all. It like, was worse? It's beautiful there, bro. Oh. Mm. It is absolutely, like, water is crystal blue, and the sand is like like right. salt yeah. powder. Just, it's beautiful there, man. It's fucking beautiful there. Money, you know, the money is different. Wow. But Did you want to stay, or was you ready to come back to yo, the States? You know, and it's funny, because <laughs> so to some degree, I thought about it, because, like, some people were in that were actually in the army. They quit mm-hmm. because they became welders, and they worked for the actual country. These motherfuckers was making like two hundred thousand. Mm. Wow! Yeah. yeah, it was great. Like the money, and they just stayed. Gas is like eighty nine cent. Wow! So they're yeah. driving stretch Hummer limo, right. Ferrari, Lamborghinis. Wow, <laughs> Literally, man. yeah. I remember there was like there's like. like Cause there's, Crazy. It's all oil and shit out yeah, there. Like, they were, they were yeah. hiring. I remember my boy was like a, a driver, like a rig driver. He's like, I might fly out there because they I could make like the money one hundred eighty thousand or endless. You know, wow, man, endless. just to drive an oil tank or whatever. Endless. Shit, yeah, they got even like they got all the F one fifties, two fifties, three hundreds. They like they have everything was like seized and it's like brand new cars, just dust and dirt on them, Damn. brand new. It's crazy what like DJs will do for a check though. We'll go to fucking we'll go anywhere. We'll go anywhere. If go the anywhere. check is right, we'll whores. go there. Straight whore. We'll go to hell. <laughs> we'll go to hell. <laughs> down bottom. We'll go down. Yeah. It's, it's uh, hot in here, but I'm going down this check bottom. is fucking it's wrong. Check is good. Yeah. As long as check I get out good. here, yeah. Yeah. I'm not yeah. melted. It's hot in here. The check is good though. Check Make sure I get out of here, not melted. I can who's, always get an AC. birthday party? Lucifer? Yeah. Lucifer? What? what? It sounds Lucifer. familiar. <laughs> JC made a song for him. Yeah. <laughs> I should play that. Yeah, we, we will go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. we will. We'll do it. But yeah, it was it was an amazing run. And um, like I said, rest in peace to Easy Rock again. Yeah, but yeah. Again, porcelain, gold, everything. What was Trim. working out there? You had to play everything? I played everything. Arab you had to play open, country music? Open, everything, open, right? Everything, everything. Everything open. All the way open. Yeah, yeah. Everything. And um, you know, because it was everybody was you know from all walks of life, right? Everybody. So yeah, I had to get it rocking. That's wow. crazy. Amazing. Is there anything else we need to touch on? Pause. No, we good. No, no, we Yo, good. man. <laughs> 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 oh, but you have like an app that you. Want? I do. I do. DJ Mel Star. It is on everything. Apple. Uh, What's in this app? It's everything. All. Oh, oh, actually, all my music. All that, all that, all of it, all, all of the it, stuff all the shit you're looking for, here. all those mixes, <laughs> all the mixes are Don't on there. Yeah. You might have to buy a few of them, but okay, you know, but <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, all of, but yeah, <laughs> my um, yeah, it's a DJ Mel Star app. It's on Apple. It's on uh, what's the other one? App, what's uh, what the, uh, the PC Play, side? Show, Play Store, oh, the, Google, Google, Google Play, Google. Play Store, yeah, yeah. blah blah blah, Alexa's. How much, did, how much did it cost to to develop that? app? On the back, that money, a lot, huh? That's the Iraqi money, remember? Yeah. <laughs> Good night, everyone. So it's Mel Star. It's your name. Everything DJ Mel Star. Two L's, two R's. So it's DJ M E L L S T S T A R R. Yes, sir. And that's okay. his, also his Instagram and everything is all there. Yeah, that's good. All like, my social like, handles. The whole. Oh, hold on. Can I see that? Uh, so yeah, you see where we're rocking. Oh, 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 oh. You don't have anything on his phone, right? Yeah, you good. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Ooh, DJ nice, Mel Star. Nice. Go ahead and download it. Like download this. Five it's star free. rating. Five star rating. It's a lot of music, a lot of shit, a lot of content. You know, and you can buy some music. You can check out a lot of pictures okay, nice. and uh, footage, videos, yeah. a little bit of everything. That's so dope. you're good. That's dope, Amazing. Nice. Cool. cool. Hey, yo, Mel, thank you for coming through. Appreciate, man. It. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Man. Thank you. Eddie, Eddie, thank you for guest hosting, man. Appreciate okay. it. Thanks, fellas. Yeah, yeah. And you can watch this video alongside all our brand new videos that drop every Friday. YouTube.com slash World Podcast. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be the first to get the video. Nice. And then, uh, yo, big shout out to DJ City. We out, man. Peace. Peace. Peace.